Hey, Bob. Oh. I'm live. Bop, bop, no, now bad man poop on the mic. It's in the wheels of steel. This is what I want to do. What's up, small sad? How you doing? Just me with me for the next minute, at least. <laughs> Dead squirm, what's good? What's going on in your vibing lives and times? Oh. Two. Clay, Alfredo, Chestizi, Alchemical Feats, CSGO Sigma, EJ Hardy, Clockmas, Paco Itos. Hey, truck, can you mute? Why would I need to mute? Why would I need to when I have this fucking chin? I could cut glass with this. Been binging your vids today? That's dope. Thank you. No, I haven't been mewing. This is, not, this is all natural. Uh, I don't gotta mew once. What up, Simiru? What's up, Carter? What's up, Son Beam? What's up, Chesteezy? What's up, uh, Maxtronaut? What's up, Master VK? Where does he was? Good to see you. Uh,. How do, I, how do I pause this? Because I have an important thing to say. Something really powerful. Uh, what's up? <laughs> hey, Shrug. I want a hackathon because of your Chinese scratcher video. Wait, what? what wait, explain to me. What, <laughs> explain to me what that you made the idea into an app. Speak to this. Speak to this. Wait, I want to hear about this. You made a lottery ticket scratcher daily video into an app? And won something with it? Do you want me to give you a presentation? <laughs> I guess. I don't, it feels like a free ad for your app. I want you to just tell me about it. but. <laughs> uh... Do you, do you do you have something that shows what it looks like or what? It's not a real app. Oh, I see. It's uh, it's it was for a hackathon. Show don't tell. They always say show don't tell. Can you play league tonight? Oh, fucking hell yeah, dude! You haven't been here for league nights. Chat, chat. Tell Mesclad about league nights. They're fucking wild. We've been doing them like four or five times a week, six, seven hours of late night league. We've been going fucking crazy with it. They've been wild. I mean, remember that game I played versus Faker? That shit was wild. Hey, truck, I was in a TFT game with you an hour ago. You cannot imagine the amount of self-control that took me to not say glizzy hand and coffee cow. You didn't really have that much self-control because one hour later, you're in here saying it. <laughs> it's, 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 not like you, it's not like you deeply avoided it. You just delayed it. It's like saying... I'm going to go on a diet. I'm not going to eat this cheeseburger. And then you just stop eating the cheeseburger for an hour and then come back and devour it. You still, the calories still in your body, bro. Uh, I did play some TFT with Yeti and a Spectacore right before stream. It was really fun. I like those guys, you know? Itrock, how much are you selling your used Enron hats for? Glizzy sweat and all. What the fuck is glizzy sweat? Question number one. Number two, I'm not selling them because I wear them. I wear them almost too often. Too much of my daily routine is wearing an Enron hat. Now that I have this new green, I feel like I'm wearing it all the time. Because I fuck with the green. Um, so I will not be selling them. Unless you want to offer me five racks. <laughs> if it's like a bathwater situation, then I'll, I'll sell it. It's like, basically, we made an app that lets you play the lottery every time you go to class. I won lunch with a Google engineer at their Venice campus. Bro, that's fucking sick. Congratulations. Smart idea. Um, yeah, that's really cool. So it, it tracks their attendance in the class and then unlocks the chance to win a lottery. I mean, schools could run this and literally like give out tickets to a sports game or um, I don't know, something special. And it would literally be like, 
a fun raffle for attendance that would maybe drive attendance up. Interesting. Or cash prize or like free student parking. That was always a big one, trying to get student parking. Uh, dude, I, <laughs> I don't know if I've told this, but I could not, I probably could have afforded it, I guess, if I wanted to cut back on League of Legends skins, but I didn't. So I couldn't afford the uh, parking pass at ASU. Okay? But um, the parking pass was like a few hundred bucks. How much did it cost? Dude, I feel like it was like 500 bucks. I'm not even kidding. 500. Wait, wait, how do I fucking. Oh, this one's got to be white. And you want it to be a little thicker, too. It was like 500 bucks. And the individual parking ticket was only like 79 bucks. Okay? So. That means I have to get caught flagrantly violating parking over five times in order to lose money. <laughs> so that was my gambit. My gambit was, all right, listen, if I park in this big fucking parking lot, they can't check every car. Uh, so when they check it, maybe I'll get away, Scott, for I'm only there for one class. Then I drive off. I immediately got a parking ticket. <laughs> this is at, you know, Gamage in, at ASU. I'd park there. So I got 79 park, but then I was like, all right, fuck it. I, I've still, I've parked for free. And it worked a really good amount of time. I, I'm pretty sure I netted out positive, but I do remember there was one day near the end of the semester. Well, I'm sorry, one week where I got three tickets in a row. <laughs> like, they, like they caught on to me. And so it, I think I caught up to about five. I think I had five tickets. So I, I don't think I netted too much different. But at the beginning of the semester, it seemed amazing. Uh, I also remember one time. So Gamage ASU. Can I show you this example? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but I, I need like an aerial view. I need like an aerial view so you guys can see what I'm talking. Gamage is like the um, orchestra hall that ASU has. Okay, yes, you can see this on this one. Okay. This is like the best place I could find to park because they didn't check it as often. So you could park here. Uh, <laughs> um, one time they, they put a barrier up here. I, like I parked during a, a show or something or I parked early and then it filled up for a show and then they put a barrier up so you couldn't get out. Like you needed a fucking ticket or a permission thing to get out. It was like, so I couldn't get out. So what I did was I took the car and I drove over the median thing. It was like this on the other side into the street. <laughs> okay. I backed up. Then I drove down the hill and then I pulled out into an active street. <laughs> People driving by. Because I was not paying, bro. They were not going to catch my ass paying that price. I have just escaped. Uh, poor car. Hey, worth it, dude. Worth it. I mean, that would have been a big charge. Mm. Broke ass? I was, I was, I was pretty broke. Uh, basically, until... Uh, until Amazon bought Twitch, I was broke. <laughs> I'll say that. Hey, Ed truck. I know you probably won't see this. Why wouldn't I see this, bro? I'll see it right now. I don't miss chat messages. Not a single one. Hey, I know you wouldn't see this, but I have to say you have changed my life recently. I haven't been enjoying life recently until I saw a hot man video on my YouTube FYP and I watched it and you are genuinely funny and genuine. I just want to thank you for helping. You just watched one Hitman video and I changed your life and it wasn't even Hitman. It was hot man. <laughs> Well, I appreciate you liked the video. I don't think I changed your life, but that's very kind. Um, uh, we have a we have a good Hitman video of the Mia Spectacor Linkus Hitman Four game coming out. Uh, still being worked on, but still. Hey, Shark, do you do your taxes or is that a myth? It's a myth. It's a myth, bro. They can't they can't compel you to do your taxes. Taxes are voluntary. JJ, thank you for the forty months. Pog. Um, those Hitman videos are the gateway drug. They're, they are for some people, but you can actually see stats on how many viewers watch a video and then return to the channel. 
and like if like a a marketing Monday that gets 400 500k like a, a high performing marketing Monday will bring a lot more people permanently than a hitman video which is just how it works however the hitman people sometimes will just watch 50 more hitman videos from your channel so it does it actually does I mean revenue wise probably work out but I think the marketing money people will watch anything hitman people only really want to watch hitman Mr. Chicken, I did not skip you. What? Ixidor, good to see you. Uh, 40, you wait, you 41 months? <laughs> did I skip a 41 monther for a 40 monther? That is, that does feel like a, a, a big dog situation. Uh, play this. Thank you for the 41. Much appreciated. Big A, you changed my life too. I was inspired to disregard work today and instead climb to top 500 in Marvel Snap. I stay grinding. How old are you? How old are you? Because honestly, that is something I would inspire you to do. <laughs> you're, you're 22? Yep, that sounds perfect. That's exactly what I would do. That's exactly what I would do at 22. <laughs> so I don't, I, don't, uh, I don't blame you one bit, bro. Sometimes you got to get your grind on. You just gotta grind. Uh... Hey, first time chatter, long time YouTube viewer from Australia. Dude, if you're from Australia, pause. If you're from Australia, I have got some interesting content coming your way regarding Australia's chief cultural export the blue actually uh, you guys uh, you heard it <laughs> you heard it already bluey bluey the dog the the number one thing coming out of australia in the past 15 years bluey the dog i got a video coming on that uh very very interesting the business side of bluey is that's actually not a bad title the business of bluey and it's like Bluey with dollar signs or something, or Bluey with... That's not a bad title. I actually might fuck around and make that thumbnail. LeBron clears Bluey. Okay. <laughs> okay. Speak to me on this. In basketball, I'll give you that. 100%. 100% I think LeBron takes Bluey to the cleaners in basketball. Okay, but in... Being a heartwarming symbol of Australia for children around the world to learn lessons about life and growing, perhaps that's where Bluey... No, I don't think that LeBron clears. <laughs> no. Did you even watch FaceTime 2? I actually didn't. That's the thing is I fucking didn't. Hey, LeBron, LeBron here. I can personally say that Bluey washes me TBH. There you go. What do you think about that? The man himself. <laughs> the big dog is spoken. Feels like that kind of shuts your opinion down. Uh... Hey, truck, long time fan. Saw you play Helldivers and reminded me of Deep Rock Galactic. Think you'll ever play that game? I can't say that we will, but you know, you never know. One day, uh, if they announce something new or whatever. I'd love a new game that's like that game that we could jump into. Rock and Stone! But I don't, I don't really have any plans for it. I heard some kids have actually picked up an accent from the show. Is that real? Because that could go in the video. Kids have picked up an accent from Bluey. Holy shit. Anyone else's kid speaking Australian because of this show? My five-year-old twins, born in the U.S., having never left the country, have been on a hardcore Bluey binge, and they now say Dunny instead of Toilet, Fluffy instead of Fart. They say Corn Chips instead of Tortilla Chips. Holy fuck, we have to shut Bluey down. We have to shut Bluey down. It's poisoning the youth. Disney Junior's Bluey causing kids to develop Australian accents. <laughs> That's so funny because it's very obviously parents that are speaking to their kids less than the amount of TV they're putting on. 
The parents are, are talking to the kids for five minutes a day and then putting them in front of a fucking iPad for 50. <laughs> and the kids are literally getting raised by Bluey. Wait, what is my... Is my title still fucking Helldivers pilled? No, okay, good. Hey, Shark, I'm going to SJSU for mechanical engineering. Do you know anything about campus or the SJ life? I'm looking forward to going to SJ Uh San Jose has good melee locals. You'll probably have fun at school. San Jose has no real culture. <laughs> I think San Jose is a pretty shit city overall. Um, it's incredibly expensive but without any of like the cool perks that most expensive cities have it's like feels like it's feels like it's not but it feels like it's 95 percent engineers uh mostly with families who don't want to do anything i mean there's literally no there's no there's not like cool restaurants there's not like cool nightlife there's not like cool cultural events it's um and, and just the most expensive fucking housing you'll see in the country, but without any. Mm. Yeah, so I, I, we didn't like SJ, but I liked NVIDIA, obviously. But obviously a big factor in me eventually wanting to leave was like me and Ari couldn't stand San Jose. <laughs> oh, no, 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 we couldn't, we couldn't. I mean, I couldn't imagine like just settling down there. I couldn't, it, w it was, um, it was too much for me. I think, I think though it's like, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you're in college, it's just totally different. You know what I'm saying? If you're in college, you don't have to worry about social activities. There, it's all through college. You're gonna, you'll find friends there and clubs there, and you, it's, it's all microcosm. You're, you're fine. I, I wouldn't worry about the city when you're that young. I think the, the where the city gets constraining is like between, let's say, 24 to 30. <laughs> You know, that area where you're kind of like a young professional trying to make some friends outside of work, trying to that that's that's what I would say. I I, I wouldn't be so caught up in uh, what city. Uh, in Australia, we always watch stuff imported from America. So it's cool for one traveling culture. Yeah, I know. I do think it's based. I think Bluey is sick. Uh, actually, I'll just reveal. So today, after doing our Bluey Marketing Monday meeting, where I was kind of like um, getting the download and like working on slides and shit, um, I watched an episode. <laughs> I watched an episode of Bluey because I wanted to see, I wanted to make sure I truly authentically knew what the fuck it was about. So I watched an episode of Bluey and low key, it was good. It was about the, the power of the grind. I, the episode I watched was about a little fucking pup dog that wants to get good at cricket. By the way, very fucking Australian. <laughs> and it just started... He was like this little kid that just grinds his way until... And then it was... Again, the episodes are fucking short. This kid was like playing cricket at the park. And then all of the other dad dogs were pitching the ball. And then he was cricket batting it out of the park. And then the dads got pissed that this kid was showing them up. So they all cheated. They all like conspired to find ways to cheat to beat this kid. And they still couldn't beat him because he was such a fucking grinder. It was incredible. It was incredible. I mean, it was like, and then it ended with the kid walking off the pitch, like Giga Chad style. And then it faded into his future and it showed him walking on the pitch as a professional athlete. <laughs> and then the credits rolled. It was unironically badass, dude. Now, obviously, it's a fictional uh, story, not because of the dogs, but because cricket is not real. It's not. I, w I live in America. I would know if cricket was a real sport. It's not real. They created this fake fucking goofy ass sport um, for these dogs, but the the message was still strong. Um. <laughs> Who would watch it if it was real? Oh, you have to be deranged. You'd have to be a group of criminals sent on a boat to live on a godforsaken island filled with spiders and kangaroos and snakes to watch cricket for real. Big A, do you watch tennis at all? I 
loved Roger Federer. I thought Federer was my goat, my king, my liege. I watched all the, not all of them, but I watched a lot of the finals he was in. But I haven't watched, I loved Federer versus Nadal era. I remember watching uh, that incredible, super long Wimbledon between Federer and Nadal and thinking, that's so fucking old. I was way younger. But I don't, uh, I didn't keep up after that. Once Djokovic, uh, got goaded, I got less interested, which is like very uh, casual fan of me, but that's true. That's just what I was. Um, tennis is the cricket of the upper middle class. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, maybe. You could be honest to something, but you could also be wholly dumb. I can't tell. I... <laughs> I don't know enough about cricket or tennis to dispute it, but I can't give you the authority. I mean, my baseline is that Chad is always capping. <laughs> that Chad is always less informed than they let on. But I don't know. Um, I sort of made that up based on feel. <laughs> That's my vibe, dude. That is my vibe. Whenever Chad speaks, I just feel like they, they got an emotion in the last 10 seconds, and then they... They work retroactively to make a statement. I've sort of learned this. They just, it's vibes based. Uh, Intro, did you see the trailer for the Civil War movie where California and Texas team together? I did see the trailer. I watched it with chat. I do think it's insane that California and Texas would team up. <laughs> I don't know how that Civil War works, but uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to see the movie. Uh, probably not. I mean, I didn't watch like all the purges or anything. I think I only saw one. This feels like very purge esque. But maybe, maybe if it's fucking heated. Uh, why have they never made an Among Us movie? Is the real question. Riddle me that. They are Among Us movie. Oh, it's an animated series. Not a movie, but it is an animated series starring Randall Park, uh, Yvette Nicole Brown from Community, Elijah Wood. Wait, who is Elijah Wood playing? Randall Park will voice Red. Elijah Wood will voice Green. That's crazy. He, he's going to play the Green Green Amogus. It will win every Oscar. <laughs> it's not even a movie. <laughs> It's an animated series, so I don't think it'll win every Oscar. Certainly not best movie, right? Best picture? That seems unlikely. It's an animated show from the guy that didn't finish right. All right, cool. Mm, who's playing purple? I don't know. Yvette Nicole Brown's playing orange. At least best soundtrack, the opening goes dummy. Wait, where's... What is the Amoga sound? <laughs> what an era that was. What an era. Do you think... Uh, how far are we from Among Us nostalgia super comeback? Feels like not that long. Feels like 2025, probably. Five years? That's the perfect amount of time for, like, people that were 11, you know, when it happened to be 16 now and being like, Among Us was actually a really underrated game. <laughs> uh, 
Minecraft movie will crush all movie records ever. I bet 50 glizzies. I was nine when Among Us was popular. Wait, you're literally 14 now? Or no, you're, you're, you're 13. <laughs> what? You said, wow. He said gifties. I literally have become so brain rotted. You said you'd bet 50 gifties and I said 50 glizzies. That's bad. That's bad, dude. Wait, what? <laughs> spring cleaning. We have to do it. We have to spring clean. After my Tahiti trip, spring, full spring cleaning. I can't wait, dude. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one of those fucking Doug Doug things that auto times out. Any any fucking glizzy, bro. It's gonna be it is gonna be 1984. It is gonna be fucking people patrolling the streets with guns. Uh UK ads telling me to vote. Is the UK election happening? Man, no, it's happening, but have they called it? UK election. Can you build a British voter? What is this? What is this? Can you build a British voter? Use the tool to build your own voter. I'm so confused as to what this means. This is, I'm sorry, you're not seeing it. Some kind of British voter creator? <laughs> oh, I, I see. I pick a region. All right, he's from, he's from London. He's 18 to 24, male. Um, Bangladeshi. He's post-grad. He's unemployed and he's renting he is very likely to vote labor <laughs> okay but there's only a hundred or fewer britons like this sounds like me i am an 18 to 24 year old bangladeshi uk male wait who who in chat is from the uk let's see if i can Everix, 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 Everix. Tell me your answers. User Everix. <laughs> Mods ban them. <laughs> Actually, me? Okay. I'm going to whisper you. Whisper you. Can you see this? Yo, triple. Answer these questions. Where are you from? <laughs> Uh, what region are you East Midlands East of England London Northeast Northwest we're gonna dox you live we're gonna dox you live don't worry about it no you're from the UK I understand that I do know your region bro are you from Wales are you from Scotland bro he tells me Bristol Bristol's not on here where's Bristol from dude Bristol Bristol England Bristol England looks like it's in Southwest okay you're in Southwest. Are you, I'm gonna assume you're 18 to 24. Tell me if you're wrong. Age, 18 to 24, or, okay, perfect. Uh, male. Ethnicity, okay, wait, we're building a Britain. We're building a British person. Asian British. Uh, when you say Asian, there's options. Uh, Chinese, Indian, other Asian, Pakistani. Korean. Don't have that on there. Okay. Um, what education? You're 19, so... What, what are you apprenticeship GS G C S E A level undergrad postgrad
Undergrad, okay. Uh, employed, full-time, part-time, unemployed, student, home carer, retired. I assume student. I assume student. Mm. Favorite McDonald's burger. <laughs> Three numbers in the back of your debit card. We'll get that, chat. It's got to be casual questions first, and then we move up to... Surely retired at 19. All right, student. Uh, housing. I assume you don't own a house. <laughs> I assume you're not mortgaging a house or owning a house. Do you rent or do you have social housing? He answered the fucking McChicken. <laughs> He's answering the fucking stupid questions you guys are asking. He's not answering the fucking... Okay. Um, wait, renting or social housing? Which one? By the way, McChicken being your favorite? I guess that makes sense. McChicken's good. Mom's house. Okay. Uh, do your parents own their house outright or mortgaging it? I guess I have to know. You're kind of a squatter. Yeah. <laughs> this is getting really interesting. It's getting really personal. Uh, drop the social security number next. Do they have social security numbers in, in the UK? What do they call that? Mortgage. Okay, mortgage. Last question. Is the local area you live in urban, suburban, or rural? He you said you're in Bristol. Are you in like the suburbs? Are you more in the city? Or are you completely out in the country? The rural juror. You're going to dox this guy? Bro, I don't... What What is there to gain from someone tracking down this 19-year-old British Korean man? Uh, student. What, what, what? At his mom's house. What do you want? <laughs> what, what are you going to steal from him? What is your goal? Uh, a friend? <laughs> uh, kind of suburban-ish. Okay. Boom. Uh, all right. I've created the voter. You are extremely rare, by the way. You are extremely rare. There's a hundred or fewer Britons like you. And it tells me you are very likely to vote labor. But you're a little bit towards the center. Uh, is that correct? Rare pog champ. Did you did it accurately predict you? It would be mad to see us looking. I guess what it should say is you're not going to vote at all. Because <laughs> I should have just put in that your age is 19 and it should have told me don't bother. She's not going to vote. This guy's not going to fucking. All right. Well, we got a legendary drop Britain. That's kind of cool. Accurate Lamau. Anyway, I guess this is just showing that demographics are like a very, 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 very strong predictor of how you will vote. What is interesting that I've seen lately is that um, some of the demographic lines in America that have traditionally been uh, Republican or Democrat are starting to shift. There's things that are shifting. For Just for example, like um, old people... <laughs> Old people, if for this election, are shifting more Democratic in general, and usually they're more Republican. Um, young Latinos are shifting more Republican. Um, uh, this is American left, not global left. Boomers went woke, I fear. Yeah, I don't know. It could be Trump fear. It could be, I don't know exactly. I mean, it could be that... Uh, you know, they've been the biggest beneficiaries. Uh, until 2016, Holly educated, always working. Yeah, exactly. Uh, education, like highly educated, is shifting more uh, uh, left leaning. Um, yeah, like a lot of, I mean, for this election specifically, there's the polls are showing changes, um, which is interesting. Sag MAGA Latino streamer. Yeah, exactly. This hat's going to get... The next Enron hat's going to be red. 
and there won't be a logo on there. Hey, Big A, opinion on the new J-Fold updates. J-Fold? You mean j Cold? Deleting his Kendrick disc and having a feature on Future's new album? Yeah, I, it was... I, I have decided that I like J. Cole again. <laughs> because, because, uh, because, he dropped this today with Future. Uh, again, my understanding is this was already recorded before all of the beef happened and they just dropped it today. But it's so appropriate, and he rides the beat so smooth. Coding got my heart like opium. Pissing on you. I was just a conscious rapper that would fuck a dude's bitch. <laughs> Which is good. He's not saying he's the toughest guy. And then his next one, uh, later in the thing, he's like, yeah, when guns come out, I turn into a track star. And basically says he runs away. Which is like, he's honest, you know? You know, he does not really about the beef. And so I thought those two bars were appropriate. Uh, kind of a fun way of poking fun at what just happened. Um, and then uh, also he just wrote the beat really well. I was just a college nigga from You're Rocky's this? I did? If you guys don't know, I, gotta, I understand that a lot of people don't even follow hip hop like this and don't care. Uh, but it's an interesting time. It's a fun time right now for hip hop heads because it feels like there's activity again. There's a little bit of beef. Um... The beef is really supposed to be between Kendrick Lamar and Drake. That's what the beef should be. Everybody wants to see that. That's the big battle. But what Drake is doing is very clever, which he's kind of just not responding. And then more and more people are taking shots at him. And now he looks like he's fucking Thanos. <laughs> now, now, now that Rocky's done it and everyone else like put uh, the weekends putting out shots. Now that everyone's putting out shots, it feels like they're all teaming up. And now he can just do like this whole like attacking everyone bar instead of just because if it's just him versus Kendrick, that's a different story. But now that it's him versus the world, I think he's going to come out looking better. Um, especially because like, you know, he's, he's selling more than all his people. <laughs> people, are listening, people are streaming his music more. Uh I hate the Drake Thanos narrative so much. That's what I'm saying. That's what's happening. It's not. It's unavoidable. Now that everybody dissed him at once, and he just waited instead of like attacking Kendrick right away. He waited, and now he's he's building himself up into this mythical figure at the top of the game that everybody wants to tear down. You know, he's got that bar where he's like, uh, "What is it? People that don't fuck with me are linking up with people that don't fuck with me just to fuck with me," <laughs> which is pretty hype. You know, it's like they're all they're all meeting up at the hate Drake Day party and they're all trying to fuck with him. And it's like, you know, it it applies. Um He's gonna make a whole album with a song for each person? I don't think so. I think he's gonna make a whole album of normal songs and then like put one, you know, subliminal or whatever. Twenty one Savage, you know, Disney Lantern to get his mind off his friends fighting. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Uh I I do want to play Shadows of Doubt. Maybe I'll play it today. Fuck around, dude. I'll play a game today. 100 OP. Or I'll play a game here soon. I'm I'm doing a little intro so Adish has clips. It's also fun for me. I like talking, but I, I I will play a game. Facts, facts on facts. We'll do it at like seven, dude. F uh, unreal. And then tonight we'll watch a. I think we'll watch a house. I guess. Or, or something. I don't know. I want to watch um, the new John Oliver executions, and I want to watch possibly a house. So we got to get a match shit today. You know, it's a it's a it's a fucking full day. If I could watch Bluey, I would. All right. But Disney and the BBC are very litigious. They will shut me the fuck down. Drake still hasn't responded to Pusha T. No, 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 no. See, that's the thing you have to understand about the art of battle is that Pusha T truly. TKO'd that. He did it really smart. It, people know about the, the diss with finding out Drake's hidden kid, but what they don't know is that what Pusha D did first is he dropped a pretty weak track <laughs> to almost bait Drake out of hiding. He dropped I forget exactly what it was, but he did like some pretty light bars against Drake, and then Drake instantly responded to like shut it down. It was infrared. It was infrared. 
Yeah, he did some light bars on Drake on infrared, and then Drake, feeling that that was all he had, came back and like hit him back. You know, with the you're you don't really sell cocaine. You're fake. Um, um, all that stuff. Uh, and that now that Drake officially responded. It became an official beef in the public that Pusha T could then come back with, hey, you have a hidden child, which blew it up to the stratosphere. It was a true masterclass because if Pusha just opens with that out of the blue, first of all, it seems weird and unprompted. And then second of all, uh, Drake just never responds anyway. So it's like you don't even get the traction. But he, he baited him out, turned it into a back and forth, and then blew it up to get, I mean, that's the biggest thing Pusha's done in like the main public's eyes. Even though he has a lot of great music, it doesn't sell nearly as well, but that blew up. He, like, he hustled it. Um, so I think, you know, Drake is ever wary of ever having that happen again, and that's why he never responds to shit. You know, he, he like, tries to ignore everything. But I think Kendrick's thing is too big to ignore. He's got to say some shit, I assume. Um, sorry, what was I going to say? I was, I was on something. I got sent two more disses. This is insane. This is insane. Uh, Detroit rapper made a diss on the new sign in the city. Local rapper in Detroit has beef with their new city sign. Sheesh. Sheesh. He stated facts. That was all facts, dude. All facts, no printer. He let them know. I mean, they... The war of public opinion is now won. I don't, this has <laughs> 20,000 likes, bro. Nobody likes this. Nobody likes this sign. The return disc? Yeah, the city of Detroit hires rappers. To <laughs> the city of Detroit hires fucking Big Sean and <laughs> Eminem to do a response disc defending the sign. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. That's good. That sign cost the city 400k. That's some fucking graft, dude. That's some fucking G R A F T graft. No way that sign cost 400k. Can you imagine? Uh, tweet from a game dev. Half the game devs I talk to are turning against free to play. Shit changing? Shit changing? Uh, could be decent. Sign. I do feel like, um, one interesting stat I saw was that, you know, while live service games are very, very, very popular... The ones that were popular eight years ago are still popular today. <laughs> At some point, there's not room for a lot of new ones. People actually get stuck into these cycles for a long time. And so, um, League pioneered it and League's still eating off of it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these games are still, are still fucking eating. Uh, and so, if you try to break into it and you don't, you know, a live service game costs more money to keep running and add new shit. And if nobody's playing it, then you're actually losing more money. You know, yeah, it's hard to get a new game to stick, for sure. Mm, sad. I was clean for 18 months and broke League Edge. Dude, what caused it? What, what causes a man to go back to League of Legends? It's tough to say. Tough to say. It's sort of like the streaming wars, but for games. Yeah, in a way. I mean, I, I do feel like there's a... It's a cool time because it feels like there's big shifts happening in a lot of industries that I'm interested in. Where the old way of doing things is kind of getting shit on. Um, and people are innovating and new stuff's happening. Helldivers do pretty good? It is. No, I'm not saying... Yeah, it's an outlier. I'm not saying no one can. Hell Divers 2 is actually crushing. Super impressive. What's their player base actually? Hell Divers 2 Steam charts. 
Let's see. Yeah, they got 226,000 people playing right now. They're only like half off their launch peak. That's really good. But also, you know, they've... Um, it actually has only been two months, a month and a half, really. So you do have to give it a little more time, but still really impressive. Uh, what's uh, what's Pow World at? Pow World's at forty three k. I mean, it keeps declining. Um, still forty three is you know incredible <laughs> they're they're printing money no doubt but um better than power world well maybe not like power world let's say power world hit its peak in january late jan and so let's go a month and a half later let's go march honestly honestly uh honestly it is better percentage wise way better i mean the same amount uh, actually hell uh power world's more power world if you go a month and a half from their peak they have like three hundred thirty thousand. but it's such a much bigger fall off percentage wise they fell mike's hardest thank you for the gifties much appreciated sheesh lethal company i don't know think about lethal company though it's a one-man dev and it made fucking big ass money. So even if it fell off in terms of active players, the guy made, you know, there's no team. It's not, if it's live service, it's just his time. They still have 26,000 playing. Dude, that guy, that guy printed so much money. My God. My God, dude. Uh,. Are government treasuries a thing in other places? Because I live in Kosovo, and if they are, are the returns different? Yes. Yes, you can get treasuries for every country. Uh, and they the returns are different based on how risky investing in the country is seen to be. Um, for example, Ukraine treasuries, Ukraine government war bonds, uh, 40% return. If you put in $100, 140 back. Um, way higher than America's because the risk is way higher. Mm. Sounds like free money. Free money, baby. Easy. YouTube frogs are funny. They show up, don't read the room, and drop a super serious question. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 100%. 100% clips frogs show up. We could be in the middle of talking about Harry Potter's fucking dick. And they go, what do you think about treasury investing? How do I manage stocks versus bonds? It's like, bro, I'm talking about <laughs> Hagrid's bush, dude. <laughs> uh, but that being said, it's not, you guys are acting like this is sort of a new thing. When in fact, previously, it was people that showed up and just said, they had just watched like a Reddit recap video and they were like, what's up, Glizz Lord? Where's Evan Gao? Is Evan Gao going to do a backflip? And it was like from four months ago or fucking six months ago. That was, do you understand? Like either way, we always had YouTube people coming in here saying whatever. It's just, uh, it's a little different when we talk about more economics, business stuff on the clip channel. Um, Kevin Cow is in your walls. Yeah, exactly. Is there a chance Trump goes to Dale before the election? Uh, nobody knows, bro. I mean, chance, sure, there's a chance, but I feel like unlikely, very, very unlikely. Um, the chaos it would cause for him to be jailed in the middle of an election feels unlikely. Oh, and then you go on. For a population of 350 million, how are these the two final candidates? Beats fucking me, dude! 
I don't know. I don't know. How are these the final two candidates? Twice. Twice, bro. Comparatively, ScoMo and Albo in Australia aren't so bad. I can't speak to that. I know nothing about Australian politics except that both parties tacitly ignore the fact <laughs> that housing prices continue to get ever more out of reach for every single young Australian, causing crippling long-term problems that they have to ignore because old people vote more. But that's everywhere. It's just extra bad in Australia. Uh... Do you think U.S. will ban Chinese EVs? They won't ban. They will tax. They will add very hefty tariffs that make it um, impossible for them to sell it profitably. Bro, nobody buys Chinese EVs. I promise you. I promise you. They do. <laughs> In fact... <laughs> A lot of people, a lot of people all over the world are buying Chinese EVs. They are making an incredible, they're making the most EVs. Uh, but not in the United States. The United States is not, does not buy Chinese EVs. No, absolutely not. Uh, what is an EV? Electric vehicle. Don't those tariffs already exist? Yes, they do. They want to raise them. Both Biden and Trump want to raise them. It's very popular on either side of the political spectrum in America to be tough on China right about now. Um, which, to be fair, I mean, if there are no tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles, the market will get flooded. There is just nobody producing at scale who or at the low enough cost. It's already fucking over Tesla within China. Uh, you can imagine. Um, would you consider being Daddy Trump's vice president? No, I don't think I would. I, I wouldn't refer to him as Daddy Trump. Thanks for the 40, Kiara. No. Um, did you hear about Chinese panels, solar panels being so cheap people are making fences out of them? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, the, yeah, the market is so flooded in some areas with Chinese solar panels. They are just buying them as fencing material. Uh... There should be a nationwide poll every year to see if we go to war with countries causing global panic like China... So every nation is under threat of being hunger games by the rest so they don't step out of line. You mean every nation in the world or do you mean nationwide in the United States? This is a very bad idea. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. This is a bad idea. I'm not gonna let you cook just yet. But it sounds like you mean every nation on earth has a poll whether to go to war collectively. <laughs> Who decides who's causing the panic? And how do they decide how to split it up? If all the countries on earth go to war with China and they win, by the way, there's a thing called nuclear weapons. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed this. Nuclear weapons throw a wrench in your plan, but okay. Let's say they win. How do they, how do they split it up? No nukes allowed. They're banned. Interesting. A no nukes battle. Nuclear weapons. Is it one country, one vote? If it was one country, one vote, there would be such a market for tiny little countries like Tuvalu to sell their vote for like a new port or something. <laughs> you know, $150 million and we'll, we'll toss our vote in. Uh... Maybe instead of a war, it just detonates the nukes in every country voted on automatically. 
Your plan is a global nuclear holocaust regularly. <laughs> what, what, what? You guys, I think we all need to go back to the well a bit. I think we all need to go back to the well. I think we need to table these ideas for now. A lot of energy. A lot of, you're on to something, I'm sure. Let's put it all into the pot. Let's stir it up. Let's come back with something new, dude. Um... The U.S. should vote to take Canada in this hypothetical world. Do, are we not, are we not following? The original premise is that every nation on Earth is voting to attack one nation. So if we all attack Canada, what, <laughs> all that does is leave our North a complete war zone, a complete hellhole. How does that... How? Wh where are we going to import our... Musical artists, huh? Where are we getting the next Bieber? Where are we getting, you know? <laughs> Flank them from Alaska. <laughs> the concern is not that we need to flank them. I'm not worried about them winning a war versus every other country on earth. I don't think Canada's got the dog like that. I, we don't have to circle them. We don't have to flank them. We don't, there, there's no, <laughs> there's no tactics needed. It is every country on earth versus fucking Tim Hortons. All right. What I'm saying is why and what to whose benefit. One v one for pink slips. <laughs> I want Vancouver. Are you under the impression that the entire world would fight to destroy Canada and then they'd give Vancouver to one random Twitch chatter? You're under that impression? <laughs> like you personally, not even a nation, not the nation you're from. You just get Vancouver. That's, he called dibs. Fuck, he did call dibs. <laughs> All right, I'll take Toronto. Toronto's mine. No, I already said it, Akronim. I already said it. I got Toronto. I am now the streamer from the six. And this is great. This is actually good. I really hope we do this. We got the dibs. Dibs is, dibs is great. <laughs> what am I going to do with Toronto? I think the first thing I'm going to do is put up a big Kendrick Lamar mural. <laughs> I'm going to put up a big Kendrick. I'm going to turn it into the LA of the North, dude. I'll put Kendrick up there and I'll put Tupac up there. <laughs> and Kobe. It'll be Kendrick, Tupac, and Kobe murals right in Toronto, dude. Uh, day one, raise housing prices. <laughs> The way Canada's housing works, they could be in the middle of an active war leveling all infrastructure and the housing prices would somehow still rise. Somehow, a fucking two-bedroom in Toronto would fucking double. Despite the fact that you can see a, a fucking blast site from the window. Uh... Seriously, in a war, do you think America could take and hold Canada? Take, yes. Hold, who knows? Who knows? Depends on uh, the marketing more than anything. Um, but because they're so culturally similar, I don't think it would be too difficult, to be honest. Um, I don't know if that Canada would fight a fucking non-stop war of attrition <laughs> monka w <laughs> the the population of new york is greater than the population of all of canada well yeah i mean war is not necessarily a population battle it's 
not one to one. I mean, all right, what if we just send all of New York? <laughs> Everyone in New York brings a knife, okay? And we just we just have them charge and it's one everyone matches up to one Canadian and we have the numbers advantage. I'm walking here. We're charging here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's hype. Yeah, Gabagool. Does Canada have a military? Yes, of course they have a military, bro. It's just a lot smaller, uh, which makes sense, bro. Any country that can afford to spend less on their military and have the U.S. blow the money on it is smart. <laughs> It's a smart thing to do. It's a great way to fucking spend your government money on things that improve your citizens' lives. You only get so much tax revenue, all right? If you can spend it on fucking child care and schools and health care, then it's, you know, every F-16 you don't buy. Hmm. <laughs> What if we changed war to turn-based combat? Speak to that. Squeak to that. <laughs> turn-based combat. Let him cook. Cook for me, please. Tell, tell me what what are you eating? What are you what are you chefing up? Where's that? Um I found that. I, found that. I got the little background music, baby. The U.S. military... Wait, sorry. Hey, truck. I'm about to graduate with a communications degree. No idea what I can do with that. All the PR jobs sound like hell. Advice? Ah. Uh, communications degree? You could... Become president? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you could stream. <laughs> Fucking fire up the stream. Um, I, I don't know if there's an easy slam dunk fit out of the gate right now for a comm degree. More of like you have completed your degree. You are a capable uh, adult, you know, with uh, you're motivated. You're, I am assuming, youngish, hungry. And so what you're trying to pitch is finding a company... Or you can get your foot in the door, man, really. I think what you're trying to do is find your money where you can get your foot in the door. Uh... I mean, I, you know, I, I, I have seen so many people do different things than what their degree is in. So many people. Um, you know, for example... I don't know if it was a communications degree, but Nick Allen, who is president of Mogul Moves, but was also head of esports at Riot and um, pretty high up at IGN, he he was a social worker. Like he helped out homeless people. <laughs> That's how he started. That's why he graduated and did that. He made zero dollars, and then he was interested in esports and worked with IGN for a bit, and worked out from there. Like I know people who were at Twitch who were engineers that didn't have a degree at all who are now, you know, well sought after engineers in the industry. I know people who, um, there's a huge jump, but Stan's is poli sci. He doesn't do as any of that. I actually know a lot of people who, are don't, who don't work in their degree. Uh, there's people at NVIDIA. People at NVIDIA, you know, I will say, I think I hold the record of being the only person NVIDIA has ever hired from ASU. <laughs> I think I did clutch that, which is fucking gangster. Uh, I think I legitimately fucking clutched that. And, but in terms of degree, there was plenty of people. I mean, some degrees are almost like communications, much like econ is like a catch all degree. It's almost like a, just give me a degree. And then you are supposed to branch out into whatever you're interested in. Uh, Ba 
But I wouldn't worry so much about um, square peg, square hole, having the degree fit exactly what we want to do. Find, find out more of what you think you could work on and less on what your degree is like forcing you into. I like smoking weed and playing video games. All right, I can see we're going to be in for a challenge here. <laughs> I can see we're going to be in for a challenge here because number one, you've told me you're a little bit picky out of the gate. Number two, you love smoking weed. Number three, you like playing video games. And number four is your degree's not like a guarantee unlock all doors degree, right? So it's, this is gonna be a tougher challenge. I think you can do it. Uh, but if your goal was like straight cash, it's gonna be a tough, you may just be really happy. Dude, I gotta say, for example, I, I, I showed my friend Blur on stream. Blur, does two things with his day. He has sex with women and he plays video games. <laughs> he has not figured out exactly what he wants to do as a career. Um, he's figuring out his life and all of that and I support him and I love that guy. I like talking to him. But he's, you know, he's figuring that out and that's a challenge that he has to, but he's, most of his day is doing two things that he loves doing. <laughs> and so you can't really blame, it's like he's unhappy. Do you know what I'm saying? He's not unhappy. Uh, maybe you smoke weed, play video games, and you find fulfillment in that. But make sure you're, you know, uh, I guess the worry is, and a lot of people hit this wall where they do that for a while, and then it doesn't make them happy, right? Where they, where they actually, they can't find a video game that makes them have any fun anymore. And it's not the video game's fault. It's usually that, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? If you used to love playing video games, and then you play video games now, and you find out you can't find a single one that you like, it's not because all the video games suck. It's more likely because you're a little depressed or you're burnt out on it or you're, do you know what I'm saying? That's more likely. That is, it, uh, so just understand this happens. Like this happens to people. And so, you know, you don't want to only do that. But I also, I also am such a believer in like, you know, we're all going to die, bro. <laughs> I feel like people get too caught up in the fucking race. I do think that. I, I've, I've become more more than I used to be. I, I actually think like, you know, just like people at the end of the day, it's not going to matter so much. Um, it's just not going to matter. Oh, no, we're all going to die. Like, everyone eventually dies. I don't believe in like an afterlife or anything. And so it's like, you know, I think as I get a little older, I'm realizing that the whole idea of like, missing your daughter's recital to get the corner office is actually fucked. <laughs> it actually is like something you will deeply regret on your deathbed. There's a great book called Regrets of the Dying. I don't know if it was a book or it might've been. I pirated it. I had a PDF. Regrets of the Dying. And it was like interviews with people on their deathbed. Interviews with like 100 people that were like in their 80s, 90s in like nursing homes or whatever, just talking about their life and what their regrets were. And it was like, not a single one of them was like, I wish I, you know, worked harder <laughs> at my job. <laughs> the regrets are always like, I didn't spend enough time with my kids or I didn't spend enough time with my friends or I didn't, do you know, it was all about like relationships and, and life. And um, so I, I do think there's a balancing act where you got to make some paper. You know, we live in a world where you got to make some paper. That's just the way it works. And it can be fun. It can be fulfilling. Like, for example, I, I make most of my bread off YouTube right now, and I enjoy it. I like the challenge of it. I feel like as a skill I'm getting better at. I like working with my team. So I like it. But but if I did that to the detriment of ever, like, hanging out with my wife or something, I'd feel – I'm realizing, like, that's so important. So do you think you're happier than Elon Musk? Yes, I actually do. A hundred percent think I'm happier than Elon Musk. Bro, did you see that Elon... Did you, I hate to ruin this because I'm using it in a presentation. Uh, let me let me find this. A hundred percent. If I... Uh, please let me find this. Mm. 
There it is. I found it. 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 I, found it. I fucking found it. Okay, so Elon Musk, uh, they, his deposition was leaked or whatever, which proved that he, under threat of perjury, had to admit that he had a burner account named ERMN Musk. His alt account, his burner. This is an actual tweet from this account. Grimes left the king of SpaceX. <laughs> her kids must hate her. They probably want to spend all their time with Mr. Tesla. This is sad. This is fucking sad. This is wild, dude. And and he had ones where he was like pretending to be his kid. Uh so the profile pic? Well, yeah, that's bad. so anyway. Uh, I, I you generally get the vibe that he's constantly fighting a battle with um ghosts. <laughs> I don't know. Like the way, you know, if you are that rich, the things you could do, you know Jeff Bezos got fucking steroided up, uh, bought three ninety million dollar mansions in Florida, uh, and a fucking clock in Texas and a plane and <laughs> a yacht and a do you know what I'm saying? He's just, he quit Amazon. He stopped working. <laughs> like Jeff Bezos is at least, he's a piece of shit <laughs> in general, grand scheme of things, but he's doing what you'd expect a billionaire to do, which is like try to enjoy their time on earth uh, with literally unlimited resources. Zuckerberg. Yeah. With the same woman, long-term relationship, got into MMA Seems to fucking love, I don't know, uh, cooking meats. <laughs> Created his own farm. Uh, Elon Musk spends all his fucking time tweeting about the fucking woke mind virus, punting billions of dollars on it. Um, you know, fucking up his reputation. Um, If I was a billionaire, I would buy a football club, make them go to them become a hero. Mark Cuban. Dude, Mark Cuban became a billionaire, bought the Dallas Mavericks, locked in on it, and now, like, lives his fucking dream hanging out with basketball players all day. The dude was, like, a sports bro. <laughs> and now he gets to be a fucking team owner Shark Tank dude. Uh... He did sell a team recently only because I think he saw... Uh the writing on the wall and how this the industry is changing with gambling uh, and live events and um, and also maybe clear, considering a political career no I don't think he thought gambling was bad it was more that like teams now have to be good at partnering with resorts and casinos <laughs> to build out like new like the future of sports teams five years down the line is like turning their stadiums into fucking resort casinos. That's that's like where the fucking industry of sports is heading. Uh, well, that's why he sold it to a big developer. Like uh, I forget the name of the family, but they're like very well connected. The people that can do that. It's like it's like what Vegas is doing, but across the country. Um. Yeah, sports as tourism, as uh, gambling destination, as um, this is uh, Mark Cuban. Do 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 do. Are you gonna buy Dallas Mavericks on that Mark Cuban sold it? Uh, he he sold it to someone, so I'm not gonna buy it. He sold it to someone else. <laughs> They'd have to sell it. Uh, he also does have um operational control, as is, as someone said. Like he still gets to control the the team because the the people that bought the the thing that's funny is like he bought the Mavs because he cared about the team, but the people that bought it now only care about the resort casino real estate. Uh, so they said you could have total control of the team. Like he still is GM or like whatever, whatever's above GM. 
He's the he's the manager. Like he hires the people that run the team. Um. All right, well, you know what? It's 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 a seven oh six. Let's play a game, dude. Uh, I've been yapping. I've been yapping. Uh, I think I did twenty cues. We got a good start. I want to play some kind of fucking game. I just want to do something. Um, something fun, something different, something new. I was thinking. There's a game. I mean, I could play that fucking uh, Shadows of Doubt, right? I haven't played it. Fuck it. Is it a? Could be fun. Shadows of Doubt. Itrock just hit a 375 squat for you, my king, my fucking king. 375. All right, let me get a fucking water. I'm not, the amount of coke that you guys are assuming I'm doing is, it's absurd. It's a, it would kill him. It would kill Scarface, dude. You're, every time I go off screen, you guys are assuming I'm doing lines. Multiple lines. It's okay, I'm a doctor, I can save you. Well, we'll see if House can save me later. Shadows of Doubt! Let me change my fucking title. Gaming is back. Real gamers only. Ga Solving a mystery in this mystery game. Gaming is back, baby. Shadows of doubt. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know shit about this game, other than that it's a mystery. Let's see what we got. Brand new game, Shadows of Doubt. Apparently it is a game where you have to solve. Oh, I have to disable licensed music track? All right, disable. New game. The Dead of Night. Which one do I play? Tutorial? All right, fuck it. New game, Dead of Night. Select City? Charlotte Heights. Continue. My name is... <laughs> I was gonna do... Uh... No, it's not. <laughs> Liz Z hands. Glizzy cow. There's Twitch integration? Uh, no, it's not Dr. Carbonation. It's not the Rizzler. <laughs> OJ Glizzen? <laughs> these, are, these are terrible. No, these are... <laughs> Whores box? What is that even? Sherlock Gliz. OG Glimpson. Timothy Glizame. JFK Glizzard. That's not even... You just added Glizzard to JFK. Glizlock Holmes. Sam Bankman Find. Glizzy McGuire. Lisan Al Gliz. Oi Bro 47. Coffee Cop. <laughs> Abraham Glizcon. No. 
<laughs> I'm gonna do Atrioc. <laughs> I like Atrioc. Game difficulty? Hard. Oh, my name's Kanye Oliha. <laughs> it's Atrioc, all right. Hard mode? Pepe laugh? I'll solve it. Gameplay settings. Sandbox. I'm not in the sandbox, so it shouldn't matter. Continue. Ah, oh, that should be easy. Wait, I hit cancel? <laughs> Is my name Lawrence Freeman? <laughs> Enter Lawrence Freeman. Greatest goddamn detective you've ever seen. He's related to Lawrence Fishburne and Martin Freeman somehow. Uh, would you be able to tutorial text? Yeah, okay, on. Mm. More like Lawrence Glizman, am I right? I cannot wait for spring cleaning. Hyper-industrialization has swept the planet. Dun, dun, dun. The old Bourbon Empire has crumbled, giving way to the United Atlantic States and the first electric megacorporation president, Starch Cola. Starch Cola is a megacorp president, okay? It's a little laggy. As the sea levels rise, cities have become polluted islands. Workers dream of escaping to the fields and the exclusive retirement district few will ever see. Elysium type B, okay. Rival corporations vie for power. Policed by the privatized Starch Cola enforcers. Doesn't Starch Cola sound pretty gross? I don't wanna, don't arrest me, but. Some say justice now only exists in the shadows. All right. The dead of night. Oh, 45 a.m. Tuesday, January 3rd. We have three days to get to the capital. Awake again. Final notice, open immediately. Okay. Lawrence, I can't believe I'm named Lawrence fucking Freeman. <laughs> That's gonna get so confusing. How can I not read this letter? I guess it's already been opened. Turn on the bedside light. I did. Get up. Really nothing here. There's the document. Western District Special Police Service Commendation awarded the Lawrence Freeman for outstanding investigative duties. I'm the goat. I'm the goat. Great. What if I just go back to bed? Can't open the window. Keypad, safe, locked. Love to get this fucking light on. There it is. I got a micro cruncher. Okay, can I read it? <laughs> Crunchers are digital personal computation devices. Okay, it's a PC. If you know a citizen's passcode, you can log into their account. Oh, cool. Well, what's my passcode? 6969. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, okay, I just got to find a note then that will have my passcode. Not in there. Sure, there's something in. Q. 
can't fucking see shit, dude. Tenancy agreement. Uh, the tenancy agreement. Could, wait, is it lagging for real? I think it, I think the lag stopped. Okay. I am going to owe money if I don't if I break my apartment. That's fine. <laughs> The tenant can't cultivate moss, mildew, or mold. Dude, a friend of mine from NVIDIA took all of his NVIDIA money, because everyone kind of got big money from it, and he put it into a house in San Jose, and then <laughs> after the deal, it, it was like the period of time, like 2020, late 22, where like every house was going for way over asking, there was huge bidding wars. So he just like put in an offer almost sight unseen, got the house, locked out, and then when he moved in, he found out that they had been the attic was a grow house for weed. <laughs> like a like a 15 year grow house for weed. It was so filled with fucking mold. Uh they had to rip the entire thing out. It was incredibly expensive. Uh he got completely finessed. It was a real it was a real disaster. He was so frustrated. He would come in every day mad <laughs> for like, for months. Uh, dude, okay. I get it. I get it. Who's Emily Piecek? Wait a minute. I don't know fucking Emily Piecek. She wasn't in this. Oh, the land my landlord. Ah, I need to make a note here to remind myself to tip her. <laughs> I'll put that here. Okay, great. Great. Perfect. Uh, light switch. Perfect. I don't want to knock on my own living room. All right. Okay, we're getting around now. We have an old style telephone. We got a directory. Um, where's Emily Pycheck, dude? This is everybody in the whole city? Holy shit. Wait, what am I even trying to solve? Snack jar. <laughs> I'm watching my figure. Advertisement, nice marketing. The fields. Clean air, sunshine, with every place and external space. Wow. I want to live in the fields. Chat, if we work hard, one day we could live in the fields. I'll take a battery. I'll take a hairpin. Keep the lights... Okay, I just tossed the napkins everywhere. <laughs> That's a problem. Let's see if I can find anything. Who's calling in the dead of night. <laughs> I hung up! <laughs> oh, Sigma, dude. Don't fucking call me at night. I'm busy. Don't fucking call me. That nah, didn't work. I definitely missed the call. That's very funny. Dude, I want a flashlight. I can't see shit but dick in here. Doesn't look like there's anything, though. Uh, oh, we got some beef, dude. We got some milk. A little late night raw beef and milk. The Sigma way. There's a note. Fapawa. Former police officers' welfare associations, we're here for you. Free basic housing for those in need. We can no longer help with money or social credit claims. Okay, let's pin Beth, because I might need to get some free housing if I'm getting fucking kicked out. That sounds relevant to me. I'll grab a key. I'll grab an eraser to eat later. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I can't bring the salt. What about the ruckus? Can I bring that? Light switch. Towel rail. I can't even bring toothpaste? 
What about Pax at all? I gotta draw something. I gotta draw something. Okay, what's my inventory button? I? Tab? Settings? Controls? Notebook is F1. Map is Tab. Inventory is not listed. Don't see it. X, X. Got it. Uh, I don't need the eraser. Drop that. I'll eat it right now. Give me, give me a bandage. I could use that. Give me a bandage. Let's leave the water running to fuck over my landlord for being such a diva. Okay? You're gonna charge me? Charge this. Alright, on the way out. Streets look good. Every light on, all the water running. <laughs> now all I need to find is my fucking passcode. Oh, it's locked. Well, I could pick it. That's not good. I now have no lock picks. Turn on the desk fan. Things are looking up, chat. Things are looking up. My life in the city. I wish I had answered that phone call. There's a note under the front door. All right, where's my front door? Right here. I see a note. When you inspect an item, it brings up an evidence window. This can be pinned to your case board for future reference. Okay? Ooh, I can create a fucking red wire. That's awesome. Red string. F to pause. Oni Johnson. Alright, you're pinned. Oni Johnson. I need to find Oni Johnson. I don't know shit about him. Chat, is one of you Oni Johnson? Johnson? That would help me a lot if one of you just spoke up. Okay. Well, as a good detective, I start at the beginning. Screwdriver. You can't crouch? Oh, you can't crouch again. Oh, a knife? Yeah, I don't mind if I do. I don't need milk. I'll eat it. This is kind of sad. <laughs> I'm drinking the whole thing. <laughs> I'm hydrated and nauseous. I, I am, I'm curious as to when he'll stop. This is disgusting. <laughs> still some left. All right, let's get the knife. Okay. Oni Johnson. Oh, jeez, I'm walking kind of faded. Oh, God. Oni Johnson. O. Johnson. O. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. 802 Rose Building. Can I get a connection here? Create a new connection. Yeah, I want to do that. <laughs> Sorry, how do I? <laughs> okay, I would like to. Oni Johnson, connect. There it is. This link will be his fucking house. Yes, dude. Okay. Do you want interface help? One percent no back cheating. Yeah, you can give me interface help. It's fine. I, as long, I mean, you guys. My understanding is the is the the mystery is like randomly generated, right? So you can't tell me the answer. I have to figure it out anyway. I'm locked. Interact with door handle. I don't want to. I don't want to lock my own house. But I have a key. I have a key, dude. I have a key. Where did I put it? Paper clip. 
soap, cleaning spray. Let's get these water running. <laughs> Fizz? Dish detergent? It's a sign. I already did this. It's telling me something I already did. Dude, I literally already did this. Don't tell me to do it because I already did it. I pinned it. I pinned it already. Okay. I recall distinctly having a key. The key to my old police stuff was lost in the last move. But if I could pick the lock, there's got to be something I could use around here. Oh, now it just automatically picks? That's fucked up, dude. I already wasted. <laughs> I already wasted a key. Um... Uh, it's number of picks. Okay. You can sabotage security systems. Okay. Detective stuff. In the top group. Vital tools are the top. Okay. Perfect. In that case, I've got a print scanner, a watch, fists, and a coin. I already did this. I did this already. I did this already. Okay. Plot a route. Oh, there's a route. Interesting. Is the game kind of loud? Let's turn it down. Uh, music volume, SFX volume. Okay. Unlock the door. Oh, I see. It just does the key. I did it! I'm out in the real world. Let's see. Oh. Oh, my first conversation. Unknown citizen. Ahem. Chat, don't embarrass me. Evening. What's your name? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Okay. Could you please provide your fingerprints for an investigation? I wouldn't give you the time of day. Obviously a bit of a tough cookie. I'll get him to crack. I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. <laughs> you can't- Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! No, no! Oh no! No, dude, no! No, no, no! 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 I didn't mean it! No, I was playing around! I was playing around! I was playing around! <laughs> Holy fuck! Holy fuck, dude! That got out of hand way too quick! That got out of hand way too quick! Where did he even pull that shotgun from? Oh... Jesus Christ, I just want to sleep more. It's 3 a.m.? Yeah, sleep, dude. Alright. Just rest for a bit, dude. We're gonna get well rested. Catch some Z's. It's 4 a.m. <laughs> I didn't do that right. Doesn't matter. 4 a.m. Rise and shine. Mark Wahlberg time, baby. Obviously, we were caught lacking. Clearly, that guy had it out for us. Do I still have all my shit? Yeah, I got the knife. Can I use this, like, to kill someone with? Yeah, I can. Great. Great. Alright. Close the door. Still probably some stains of my blood. Root. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I thought he was coming at me. Oh no, dude. No. Okay! Stop! 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 Everyone fucking stop! 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 Jesus Christ! No, 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 no. 
not going out like this. <laughs> not again. Not in my city. Not in my city, man. Okay. Jesus, this is a big building. What are we doing here? What is this fucking building? Where do I live? Trump Tower? Is this a laser? Yeah, of course it's locked. What if I fucking pick it? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is where the rich people live, huh? <laughs> the future's a scary place! Okay, let's put the knife down. Huh? I don't want to lose the knife. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd the knife go? That was my only weapon! Oh, uh, okay. Our alarm's over. That's good. I'm sabotaging it. Did someone open a door? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. How did I get 29 lockpicks? Someone open a door? What if I just wait for someone to leave the room? Okay. Okay. I'm still going up. That's the crazy thing. All right, we're at the top. We finally reached the top. Can I just lock, unlock this door? How do I use lock picks? Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Oh, uh, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Bit of a laser. Bit of a laser situation. Not, a, not to worry. I am the most devious. Oh shit! <laughs> Give me a weapon. I need a weapon. Fucking quick. <laughs> a hammer. A hammer, a hammer, a hammer, a hammer, a hammer. A hammer. <laughs> this is a fucking disaster, dude. My first day on the job has gone so poorly. I feel like people are gonna remember. Dude, all before 6 a.m. this has happened? I feel like they're not even gonna fucking give me the time of day, dude. Well, at least somebody cleaned up the mess. God willing, someone gives me a chance. Let's see. Wait, I wonder if the room's still unlocked. Because if it is, I, I simply can't help but go back. Oh, hello. Hello. Chat, play cool. <laughs> Evening, what's your name? Nothing to do with you. Well, the last guy said that. <laughs> um, do you know this person? As if I'd tell you. Okay. Nothing to tell a flat foot like you about. Awfully. Sorry, that's personal. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if I give you enough, give you something? What if I give you synthetic beef? Thanks, I could use a snack. Okay. Now, are we... <laughs> okay. I won't even... You won't even pay for the beef. Have you seen her anything unusual? See nothing at all. Okay. Keep your nose out of my business. I gave you beef, bro. Jesus Christ, that's a cop. That's a cop. That's a fucking cop. I'm talking to them. Get out of the way. Hello, governor. Evening. What's your name? Sorry, that's personal. Okay. Have you seen or heard anything unusual? Unusual, hmm? Don't believe I have. Nothing to do with you. Okay. Everyone's really fucking cagey. What about spare change? Jesus Christ, come on. 
What about fingerprints? <laughs> okay, fucking get out of here. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Okay, this is fine. This is fine because I'm going to go upstairs where the door, I'm sure, is still unlocked. I'm going to make insane money by robbing that guy. I'm going to turn my whole life around. Everyone's going to be like, damn, there's that milk. No use crying over it. They're not cagey. You're some random murder hobo. Of course, they're reverse. They don't know they're a murder hobo. Okay? Get some drink. What is happening? I feel like I'm hearing shit. See, the thing is, my, my behavior so far would be fine at 3 a.m. But as we get close to morning, it feels more and more unseemly. It's locked again? Dude, I want to restart. <laughs> I, want to, I want to... I think I should restart. I think I should fucking restart, bro. I think I've... I've burned too many bridges. I've lost everything. Um, I'm down on my luck. Let me get out of the city. Let me get out. I feel like I'm a real detective that needs to see the streets. Breathe the air. Walk amongst the people. I'm a gumshoe. And once I do that, then I'll be able to sniff crime. Hold your horses. Why? Who said that? I don't hold my shit for anyone. Who's talking to me? Oh, a flashlight. What up, big fella? What up, big fella? Hey. What's good? What's your name? None of your business? Oh, it's my business. Unless you want to get the business end of a hammer. Um, what if I give you something? Milk. Take a milk. Thanks. I'm so I'm so thirsty I drink off-brand cola. Bro. <laughs> if someone in real life walked up to me and gave me free milk. I would spill. I would tell them whatever the fuck they want to hear. What's going on in my life? I'll tell you about... I, I, I would talk, dude. Spare change? I wouldn't give you the time of day. You're so rude. That's so rude. I don't, okay. No, for real, though. For real, though. You do know that's kind of rude, right? Like, unironically... Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. No, that's my bad. Let me get that fingerprint, though, huh? Yeah, that'll do nicely. Thank you very much for being finally cooperative. Wasn't that hard, was it? You wouldn't have my milk on your person, would you? Um, you wouldn't have to have my milk on your person, would you? I already got the fingerprint. I already did it twice. Oh, is that their is that their head or their hair? <laughs> did that just fall off? Let's search. Okay, I think they're oh the milk. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> let's put the let's put a pin in that. That could be important. That could be important. Alright. Uh resume. Oh, your work ID. Oh, you work at Dragon Burger. Oh, so your name's Ria Marayuma. Interesting. Was that so hard? Interesting. You work at Dragon Burger. As a wait staff. And you got a little money <laughs> and a key. And where do you live? Oh, interesting. You live at 701 Gomez. Now we're talking. <laughs> What a coincidence, that's close to where I live. All right. What happened? I have no idea, dude. I think you just passed out. <laughs> I think you just passed the fuck out. Let's go up to the seventh floor and see if... Uh... Lady, get out of the way. Oh, if I do Twitch integrations, you... Okay, wait, how do I do that? I want to do Twitch integration streaming. Uh, Twitch. Twitch connect, connect. Oh, authorize. 
Okay. So now the Twitch chat is based off, or the, the real people are based on you guys? Oh, that's kind of fucking hype. That's actually fucking hype. Yeah. Update. Alright. Holy shit. Okay. So let's go up to the seventh floor of Gomez building. See if we see any of my chatters on the way. Oh, this is eighth floor. No, what is this? Ooh, hello. This is useful. I need one of these again. Uh, sixth floor. All right, we got one more. There's milk everywhere, bro. All right, we're on the seventh floor. Now, he was in 701, I think. Am I crazy? I got your key. Uh, F. 701. Yeah, 701. Alright. Oh, I just, I, I messed right it. Okay. Now I'm trespassing. No problem. I have a flashlight. Let's hit that light switch. I'm going to shut this door so no one finds me. He's probably going to work at Dragon Burger because it's the morning. Oh? Someone in the living room? No. Nope. No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Careful, careful, careful. Everyone calm down. Get my beef back. Toyota Corolla Work Rota Wait Staff. What is that? Need a fucking <laughs> screwdriver. That's good. <laughs> can I attack with it? I can throw it. This is better. Oh, money. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Now we're talking. Well, I don't really want to. I don't want to murder him. If anything, I just want to knock him out and rob the place. Do you know what I'm saying? You can't swap with him. Oh shit! I got him! 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 Oh, thank God I clutched that. Okay, perfect. Uh, search. What do you got? You got a hammer? Don't fucking mind if I take that off of you. Yes, confirm. Hammer founded at 701 Gilman House. Write this down. This could, they could be suspicious. <laughs> this could be suspicious. A hammer. Perfect. What else? What else is on you? Nothing else? Alright. Can't fingerprint you or anything? Perfect. Okay. Uh, let me pull this hammer out. And just... Hopefully you don't get back up. That's what I was worried about. That's what, that's what I was worried about. That's what I was worried about. That's what I was worried about. Okay. And and just stay down. Not dead, I think. Not dead. Just maimed. Just chill out. Just chill out. I'm I am the Atrio wallet? The Atrio wallet? Excuse me? You've been impersonating me? Oh my god, I knew I stumbled on a crime. Oh, this is... A, <laughs> this is a, the Atrio. 701 Gomez House. Thanks for the money and the key. Two copies of that key. Don't get up. 
Dirty plate. Dirty plate, dirty deeds. The atrio. Don't think I don't see through your crimes. I'm not at fault here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I get I, I actually lived. I fucking lived. I lived, bitch. Seven stories? Yeah. Tell seven stories about me. And how I fucking lived that kind of ish. I got up. Break into your house, steal your wallet, jump out the seven story window. That's just how I'm built different. I'm not gonna grab the mustard. Why would I ever want that? I'm not gonna grab the ketchup. Why would I ever want that? Boy, this... This is hurt. Alright. Metal Gear Solid? <laughs> they can't find me if I'm hiding behind this box? Alright. Let's get to the bottom of this mystery. I'm going to the Rose Building. Would love for my leg to heal. I wonder how that happens. Yeah, I kind of wish I hadn't tossed the one bandage item <laughs> to pick up the hammer. But if I didn't, I need a splint, actually. How am I going to find a splint? Whatever. Security threat. Oh, this looks like a medical facility. You guys 24-7? Hey, yo! Patient here. Need urgent care. I assume we have universal health care in the future. Oh, shit. Don't mind if I sit down. Check the database. No one seems to be here. Uh, what's his name? What's his fucking name? I don't remember his fucking name. Johnson? <laughs> Whatever. Oh, no, just... Tell me I didn't log it out when I... Tell me I didn't log it out. <laughs> oh, fucking piss. <laughs> Dude, I... This is... This is good detective work. I gotta be saying. I gotta be honest with you. This is good detective work. Okay. Fine. Uh, we're getting to the bottom of things. The thing about mysteries, they're tapestries. You have to weave them to solve them. Let's pop this cabinet open. Why is there two things of perfume in the fucking medical cabinet? I'm, my, I, I'm not dying of stench. That's ridiculous! <laughs> that being said, might as well munch down some beef. I feel instantly nauseous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking disaster. Oh god, I can't move. I'm getting nauseous in real life! I'm getting nauseous in real life! Give me some perfume, please. It's the only thing that can cure me. A perfume, please. Oh, God, I'm actually getting nauseous. Oh, God! Please heal me. Okay. I'm getting better. I'm feeling better. Jump. Jump it off. Yeah. Okay, this is good. Can I puke? Can I puke? Can I, can I fucking puke, dude? Let me, dude, I'm actually getting sick. It's, <laughs> this is the most realistic nausea in a video game. There we go. There we go. I have to look at it to puke? Dude, nobody does this. Nobody does this in real life. Nobody has to be looking perfectly at the thing to puke. They don't stop mid-vomit. Just get it out. Just get it out. Just get it out. Just get it out. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Yes, I'm getting better. I'm feeling better already. I'm feeling better already. All right. Nice. Nice. Dude, I could have got the keypad with that computer. 
Uh, all right, perfume, please. Can I use this? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, feels like if we cut the breaker, we could probably get into the security. Hey, you. Oh, wait, it opened? Wait, it opened? I'm not trespassing. If you're not going to buy anything, get out. No, I, I am going to buy something. How did I get through? How did I get in here? I'm sorry, are you... You have a problem with me? You got a problem with me, huh? Why don't you have a problem with this? Uh-huh. Get that on camera. I'm starting over. 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 Clearly, clearly, I have misunderstood the level of uh, uh, realism. <laughs> clearly, clearly, clearly. You know what, though? I feel like if I start over, I'll never know the true mystery. Of Oni Johnson. I feel like I have. Can I just accuse somebody? Can I make a guess? They, they never take my knife away, which is fucking awesome. You've killed four people since 4 a.m.? I like to think of it as... liberating them from this capitalist hellscape. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm, if anything, I'm doing them a favor. Boom, baby. And he's out. Like Batman, I stalk the city at night. Yep. What crime are we solving with these murders? That guy looks busy. What does he gotta hide? Alright. Uh, we're going to the Rose Building. Right here. Hello. Wait. Hey, sir. Hello? Why did you leave and walk back in? That was weird. Hello? Evening. What's your name? My name's Imani Amidices. Do you know this person? Oni Johnson. Isn't that Oni Johnson? I know them. Oh. They work at that place. Goldborn Tech. Yes! Finally a friendly fucking person. I saw them somewhere around Stubbs Deluxe. Very nice. Got any spare change? Not a chance. <laughs> okay, push my luck. Push my luck a little bit. So, what did I just get told? I got some new information. How do I... How do I add this new information? Workplace. Cold War technology. I don't know where that is. Um, Oni Johnson. 802 Rose Building. 802. 802. 802. We're looking for 801. This doesn't. These aren't even like lined up in any way. 802. Okay. Nope. Nobody look at me. Nope. I'm, looking, I'm, I'm, I'm breaking the wrong one. Okay. Boom. Nothing in the mailbox? That's fucked up. All right. I think before I go to their work, I should probably. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Not trying to cause a ruckus here. Not trying to cause a ruckus here. Let's just go to 802. Oh, wait, there's an elevator. Why the fuck not, dude? Eighth floor, please. Eight. Nice. Alright. 
A good detective breaks into an apartment. A f Again, if Dr. House can break into an apartment every fucking week and be a hero, then so can I. All right? I haven't committed any real crimes yet. For all we know, the people that I killed were murderers. and They were part of this conspiracy ring. Here we are, 802. To know if a door is locked or not, you first have to try and open it. Locked doors can be unlocked by focusing on the door handle. If you have the correct key for the door, the door you can unlock it easy. Yeah, I already know that. All right, it is locked. So we're just going to have to lockpick it. Not a problem. Just causing a lot of ruckus. That's insane. It's insane. Disable the alarm. Okay. If you find yourself somewhere you shouldn't be, you'll gain a trespassing status. If it appears in orange, they'll ask you to leave. If it's red, they'll attack. Okay. Identify means to make a safe escape. Keep an eye out for air ducts you can escape to or hide under beds. There's a dead body here. What the fuck? What the fuck? Wait, there's... Can I disable this? This is too many locks. This is too many locks, dude. <laughs> I'm I'm wasting all my lock picks. All right, well it's off at least. A dead body, huh? Seems we've stumbled upon a scene of a crime, and everyone thought I was a bad detective, and here I am solving a murder. Take his fingerprint. Okay, we don't know who this is though. Let's inspect. Unknown citizen. Yeah, I have your fingerprint. That doesn't matter. What I need to do is search. A bullet wound from a low caliber ammunition. Right. The victim has been shot to death with a pistol. On Tuesday, January 3rd. Okay. I forget what today is, but it seems like similar days. It's like a recent death. Yeah, I already know all this. Okay. There's a blood pool. What this game needs is ragdoll physics so I can move the bodies. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> also, he's fucking British. Or European in some way. Explains everything. Should have arrested him for that. Another hammer would be nice. Another hammer would be nice. Let's toss this one away and lock in a new one. Okay. Antique vase. Not that antique anymore. Snack jar. Let me see. The Faces of Diablo K. The ninth. This is just a fucking book. Oni Johnson's wallet. He left it at home. Thanks for the money. Thanks for the key. Mm, a murderer is among us. Okay. Wet bandit. <laughs> I do have to... Everyone keeps their key in their wallet, huh? Cigar. Electric love. Chevalier mine. An apple core? This guy's gross. Starch candy wrapper. Assorted books. Alright, a bunch of crap. Nothing in the oven. That's where they like to hide their most devious shit. Money. Another knife. Don't need that. More money. Hit the lights. Oh, a vent. Can I escape? Each citizen in the city has a unique fingerprint. You can scan for them using the fingerprint scanner device. Paint the scanner where you want to scan. All surfaces can... Oh, shit. Okay. So I can prove they were in two spots. Okay. So. Scan. Oh, I see. Fingerprint. I got wait, I got one, right? 
I mean, I'm touching it a lot. <laughs> I don't know if that counts. I'm touching everything. My fingerprint. Oh, they're on the seat. They're on the seat. Oni Johnson. Dead to rights. Dead to fucking rights. Okay. We got you, bitch. I mean, how do we know that it was Oni Johnson, though? That's the fucking... That's the crazy part. He was in his own apartment? Yeah, but we don't know. Someone could have come over here and lift this, this seat for him. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Why is there one on the underside? A different fingerprint on the underside of his toilet seat? Excuse me? How intriguing. Save this. This could come in come in handy. And that's why you always look. What's this one? Wait, there was one right there. It disappeared. Fuck. There it is. Oni Johnson. Okay, he's been touching all his own stuff. That tracks. 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 No fingerprints around here. Oh. Tracks. Wait, so... I'm sorry. This is Oni Johnson. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oni Johnson's been murdered. Jesus Christ. They're going to blame me, obviously. <laughs> They're going to blame me, bro. I've killed five people today, and I'm in this... I've broken in. I'm on the fucking camera. My fingerprints are everywhere. They're going to blame me. I got to hide the body. No, I don't want to take fingerprint. Dude, if you could move bodies, that would be really great. All right, well. Some four. He never touched his cushions. So I need to find the other person that was here. I need to find the other person that scuffled and shot Oni Johnson. They probably would have been right here. Now, yeah, really? It's all Oni, huh? All Oni all the way down. Alright. First, meet Kiara at Indigo Hair Kitchen. Be careful what you say. Okay. Clearly Kiara's got something to do with this. Next month, nothing. Next month, nothing. Tonight, you need a piece. Go to Cotton DIY Company, knock, then give them the password Mulberry. This needs to be saved. Okay. An advertisement? Tired of nothing in the V-mail but bills? V-love. Sign up to V-love today and find that special someone. The only service to... Okay, this is like he was lonely and horny. <laughs> okay. Oni Johnson was lonely, horny, and worked at a tech company. And he was murdered by somebody. Cardboard. I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll get to the bottom of this for sure. Also, because Oni Johnson had his name generated before I added Twitch Shatters... He's probably the only normal person in this whole universe. Everyone else's name is going to be fucking Glizzlord or some shit. Oh, what's in the safe? The safe is open. Sync disk upgrade vial. Inspect. I can upgrade a sync disk. This is pretty important. Let's drop the matchbook. And let's grab this bad boy. I want more inventory slots. That's what I need. I would love to solve this case. Videotape. Can I... Who has videotape? Who has VHS in current year? Cleaning spray. 
I mean, am I going to take this and actually use it? I don't want to lose my handcuffs or my hammer or my knife. <laughs> They're too important for my unique style of play. Inspect. Oni Johnson, employment agreement. Goldborn Technologies. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Dude was getting paid? Wait, is that 169000 or just 69000 I can't tell. Uh, he's fucking balling. Credits per annum. All right. Congrats on the job, bro. But it cost you everything. Remember your passcode, 1428. Nice. Business card. Oh, he's the office manager at 802 Rose Building. Don't mind if I fucking do. Okay, we have to go to 802 Rose and inspect his workplace. He had a diary. Monday, 11 p.m. This is supposed to help the group. It's supposed to help. The group leader said so. Don't know what I'm supposed to put down, but Kiara said it sounded like a good idea. Everything sounds like a good idea when she says it. Kiara, clearly important. Who the fuck's Kiara? We got to find out. Trying to cut down on starch. Not easy. Seven cans today. Yikes. Starch cola. Okay. He is patriotic. Tuesday. Good day today. Went walking with Kiara down to the water. Even saw a bird. Felt like a normal nobody on a normal afternoon. Cans of starch equals five. We'll do even better tomorrow. Friday, 1 a.m. Violet called. Who the fuck's Violet? Should have known it wouldn't be this easy. Meeting tomorrow. Cans of starch, 10. He's backsliding. Tried to get out. Said I didn't want to do this anymore. That I was done. But Violet just laughed. She told me it was in my blood, like the starch. Hope Kiara is safe. Shouldn't have told her anything. But they knew something was wrong, and we said no secrets. Wish I'd kept my goddamn mouth shut. She won't pick up. Want to head over there, but Violet won't be watching. Makes me sick. No choice. Got to. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, this goes deep. Okay. New policy. To Oni Johnson. January 2nd. Dear Mr. O. Johnson, thank you for recently contacting us to request a life insurance policy. He got life insurance? Unfortunately, our checks indicate you do not meet the required social or economic requirements to be approved. Um, yikes. Yikes. Spectacles. I'm not going to steal a dead man's glasses. All right, so he was a sad man. 1428. Crumpled paper? Don't forget who owns you. Oh, shit. There's a fucking tale to tell here. Clearly, there's someone dangerous <laughs> at work in this city. Someone who could murder four people in a night and not even blink. We need to find this person. <laughs> we need to hunt them down. So they can't run their terrorist campaign across this city any longer. Um, check for recent calls. Oh, yeah. Uh, 541 triple O. Last caller. Okay. Pin this. January 2nd, 1979 at 2323. Wait, go back to the diary. January 22nd at 2323, right? Violet called at 1 a.m. This is Violet's number. Attach the photo. Wait, I have her. I have her. I have her phone number. I have her phone number. Telephone. How do I attach this? I need to link the two. Create string. Yep. It's her number. Green. Okay. I don't need two violets. You can get rid of this one. You can get rid of this. <laughs> I don't need <laughs> Okay, fine. Cool. Uh, we got two violets. All right. 
Wait, can I just call her again and see what's up? I got the key. Nice. Nothing in the trash. Hiding place? Oh, what's this? Code breaker. Oh, interesting. Crumpled paper? Can I just inspect it? Receipt. Keep for tax records. Jade King Lounge. Jim Setter X5. Call me. Oh my god. Not paid. Added to tab. Take this item. I can't fit it. Call me. The Jade King Lounge. Keep that on file. Okay. 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 We're getting somewhere. What is this code breaker going to do? I can't get rid of any of my weapons, right? <laughs> Actually, I never use the handcuffs. So why don't I just drop those? Oh. Once you've figured out the culprit, perform a citizen's arrest. I see. I think I'm going to citizen arrest them a little more violently. <laughs> I don't know that I need... I don't know that I need to fucking... Do you know what I'm saying? The streets demand justice. These fucking rich assholes, they walk, dude. They go in front of the... I, my evidence is not going to be taken into court because I murdered someone today, which for some reason means I can't be counted as a real detective. Okay. Wait. Once arrested, they're more likely to answer your questions. After about two hours, any handcuffed citizens that are not reported as a case submission will be freed. You need to acquire their name to complete the... Okay. Okay. I'll solve this goddamn case. I'll solve this case. Or my name isn't Lawrence fucking Fishburn, dude. Also, I didn't know I had fish this whole time. Oh, what about? Wait, wouldn't the bad guy have opened this safe? Type C. Type C was definitely here, bro. Type C was all over. Wait, can I just... Okay. Type C is probably... Is probably Violet. Right? Violet's the murderer. I'm just going to drop these. All right? We're not going to need it. We want the fucking code breaker. What does this do? Oh, it breaks keypads. Oh, that's fucking sick. That's sick. That's going to be way more useful than a goddamn... Useless... Handcuffs. We'll just break out. Now they'll think it was a kink. <laughs> yeah, when the cops find this... Oh, duct tape? Damn, bro. All right, what if I drop the hammer? Pick up the duct tape. Can I use this? You just throw it. That's not... You can't, like, tape somebody? Oh, give me my fucking hammer. Address book. Uh, Okay. Lorcan. I don't know who that is. Sahana. Arrow. These all seem useless, bro. I don't... Violet. Violet! Stubbs Deluxe. 515-3499. I already have that. That's Violet's number. Holy shit, I self-determined it. Okay, and then this... To Violet. Perfect. So. What about Kiara? Kiara. Kiara, Kiara, Kiara. 402 Novak House. No. Oh, link it here. Okay. Uh, phone number. Okay. Suddenly, the puzzle is coming to fucking dinner. Can I call... Can I call Kiara? Six, five, two. Go back. Go back. 
Six five two, two nine two nine. Kiara, pick up. Kiara, pick up. Camp in CC for the nine months. Afternoon, Kiara here. <laughs> These are my only options. This is all I can say calling a dead man's girlfriend from his house. Afternoon, what's your name? My name's Kiara Alv Jesse. Have you seen or heard anything unusual? <laughs> I can't even say it. I literally can't even say it. Goodbye. Salute. <laughs> what a fucking strange conversation. What? That, that's useless. 652. Oh, fucking shit. Pick up. Dial. 652. 2929. Call her back. Please pick up Kiara. Why can't I say this? I can't say. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright. Hang the fuck up. Useless. Fucking useless. What else? What else can I. It says I'm still searching for clues, is the crazy thing. But I've, I've gotten, like, every clue. Search the trash? Oh. Keep for tax records. Indigo hair kitchen. He bought cola, churros, and fries. Okay, on January 2nd. Interesting. Indigo hair kitchen. Direct me there. Direct me there. Okay. Okay. Uh, more junk. Another tax record? We already saw that. The silent alarm has been tripped. Enforcers will be here at any minute. Oh. Piss. Oh, piss. Not being seen is your best chance of survival. The dot in the very middle of the screen displays how hidden you are. A hollow circle means you're completely obscured. Okay. A filled in circle means you're completely visible. Okay. The color of the outer eye shape depends if someone can see you. If it turns red, you've been spotted. Okay. When things go wrong, you may resort to combat. Get your fists out. Okay. You may choose to punch or block. If you block at the right time, you'll perform a counter move that knocks out the other citizen. Okay. Violence get escalated quickly. Okay. Shit. Hiding place. Hiding. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. We're completely hidden. Yeah, they're they're banging on that door. Okay. I think they're in. Okay. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. We don't want this to get violent. We, this is an officer of the law. We are all on the same team. I'm sure if we can talk this out. I'm assuming he's going to leave any second. If he's in the kitchen, can't I just leave? You know what I'm saying? Can't I just leave? I can't. I don't even know how to get out from. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I don't know how to get out from where I am. <laughs> Bro, 
<laughs> I don't know how to get out from where I am. Oh, that's it. I think he's right there. We're just going to go. We're just going to go for it. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Go! 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 <laughs> In and out! Like a demon's whisper! The uncatchable! The uncrackable, the greatest detective you've ever seen, Lawrence Freeman. Holy fuck, he's good. Escape the building? Okay. We made it to the first floor. Boom! Boom, baby! Collect a murder case resolution form from City Hall. Are you dicking me around? Okay. Dude, the best part of being a detective is getting the forms. <laughs> Any good detective fantasy should have you fill out a fucking murder case requisition form. So is every NPC chat? I mean, I think so. Afternoon, what's your name? None of your business. Well, we'll never know. <laughs> Could be a chatter. A coffee machine. It's really loud. Am I trespassing right now? Employee photo. Hmm. Wait. The code to my office has been reset to 4823. Okay. Dude. That's just bad security. Sorry. I'll say it. That's just bad fucking security, bro. 4823 again? Imagine. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude. A commemorative baseball. A business card. She by the owner. Okay. A baseball cap. A paper stack. What's this? I'm trying to stack some paper, you know what I'm saying? Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Everyone relax. Is the safe broken? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, he interrupted an officer in the line of duty. Oh, please tell me there's no one else. Please. Please. Everyone fucking relax, dude. This goes to the pavement? Great. No, don't. Don't have to knife everything, Brandon. Okay? Don't have to knife everything. I don't. Just. There, okay, put it away. Put it, just put it away. Okay? Light switch. It's just not that bright in here. Micro Cruncher advertisement. It's for the fields. It's like the key. Uh, candy. Newspaper. Uh, paperclip. Some money. Paperclips. Some money. Damn, he really didn't have a lot to steal, I'll be honest with you. He bought this whole safe for a baseball cap? Probably fucking valuable, I guess. Uh, let's just shut the door behind me so no one finds that. Mission accomplished. All right, now let's get to City Hall. We have a murder to solve. This is City Hall. It's just like a fucking diner. Oh, this is where this is where I, this is the Indigo Hair, dude. I'm looking for the City Hall. Is it on here under City Hall? City Hall, ground floor lobby. Yeah, navigate me that, please. Okay. Perfect. A random B and E. Uh, did I break anything to enter? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I opened the door, which was unlocked, and then they had the code written on a sticky note. And so, how can I be blamed? K 
case tray. Get a resolution form. All right, I got a resolution form. Perfect. View your case objective by clicking the resolve button in the top right of the case we're changing. All right, so I go to the top right. I go to resolve. What is the full name of the killer? Arrest the killer optional. Do you have evidence that places the killer at the crime scene? Yes, fingerprints will do it. Where does the killer live? Have you located the murder weapon? Okay. Okay, fuck yeah. I'm going to solve this. I think it's Violet. I think it's fucking Violet. So... Let's check the board. Let's check the board. I'm looking for... Well, I guess I should go to Kiara's place first. Right here. Kiara. Select lead. There's almost always multiple ways to carry out an investigation. Here are some current available leads. Choose one as a start to be guided through. In the main game, you have to think for yourself. <laughs> okay, well, I, I'm going to just disable leads. <laughs> I'll figure this shit out myself, bro. Sorry, but not sorry. I don't need no guided shit. I've already figured... I'm already mastered. <laughs> I've already mastered this shit, dude. This is not a challenge for me. I'm one of the world's greatest detectives. Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Freeman. This is locked. Kiara. I guess I could wait here for her to come home. I could also unlock the door while the camera's looking away. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> Did that work? I'm a little shocked. <laughs> I'm a little shocked. Someone here? Oh. How am I going to interrogate her if she attacks me on sight? What if I just knocked? Pleasure to meet you. Uh, do you... Can I come in and take a look around? <laughs> um, do you know this person? I work with them. That's Oni Johnson. Oh, you just work with them? They work at Goldborn Technologies. Oh, it's just, it's just a job for you. They were around Rose Building. Can I come in and take a look around? All right, fine. Just don't touch anything. Excuse me? That was easy. Uh, do you know this person? Violet. Can't help unless you got more than that. <laughs> okay, you don't know anyone named Violet? What about this? What about this sync disc? What about this code breaker? No, I don't actually mean it. No. <laughs> No, I'm gonna need that back. No, no, no. Okay, I can see this going poorly. I really, I just need you to give that back because that's actually gonna be useful for me. Um, you wouldn't mind giving it your fingerprints, would you? Oh, yes, queen. So now I got your fingerprints? Okay, perfect. Nothing unusual? Um, okay, cool. I mean, Dan, you want to just talk about Emily Donuts? That's not enough information. All right, well, cool. Uh, I'm going to look around. No. I'm going to look around. You, uh, you go about your business. Just go do a quick check in the purse. Organ donor. Very nice. Very nice, Kiara. Love that. Work ID. Head of HR. Congratulations. Um, congratulations. 
That's... That is big. Good for you, Kiara. Moving up in the world. Uh, right. Wow, nice. Much nicer house than Oni. Were you guys actually in a relationship? I mean, because you're damn flexing on him. All right. Here's the T, sis. I... 6662. Okay. <laughs> I like that she doesn't even stay with me as I look around the place. <laughs> That's really on you. That's really on you. I gotta be honest with you. You leave your passcode out. 139 smackaroonies? You tell me I'm not gonna grab that? It's absurd. Inspect. Inspect. What do we got? From the desk of Timothy Antel. Daffodil Ward. Beta blockers. Uh, you have diabetes. and Okay. Sad. Mm. What about... Oh, we're over here. A little more cash for the cash king. The cash king. Detective gotta get paid, baby. Detective gotta get paid. Keep a fucking single business card. Kind of sad. A boot of size four. That doesn't really solve the case, does it? All right, Kiara. Well, uh, I'm gonna keep the lights on if you don't mind. <laughs> Keep them on, though, if you don't mind. <laughs> I'm going to pop these on, Kiara. I am going to keep the lights on. Thank you very much, ma'am. Oh, no. No, it's good. <laughs> and, <laughs> okay. All right. No, that's cool. Interesting. Relax, 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 relax. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Sorry, I just. Sorry, it's lagging. Fuck! I missed the mustard. <laughs> no funny business. Okay. Okay, relax. Everyone relax. Everyone relax. Let's do a quick check to make sure you weren't lying to me, Kiara. Get that fingerprints. Seems like that was all in order. She's 50. <laughs> okay. Type D. Type D. Now that. Interesting. So his girlfriend was not the one with the fingerprint in his apartment. Type D. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Does that make her guilty? Objectively, no. <laughs> Does it mean I am absolved of guilt for breaking into her home? Going back outside of her home. Knocking. Going inside. Oh, hello. <laughs> you had a bit of a fall there. <laughs> Probably a little woozy. Let me warn you about the killer. <laughs> oh, you knew something was about to happen? You have to help. Omni mentioned someone called Violet Diaz. Ah, Violet Diaz, you say. I think Violet's a hired killer. I want someone at that place, the Jade King Lounge. You have to stop them before they can come for me. For sure. For sure. Here's 200 crows that Omni left me. Crows is money? There's a sync disc in my mailbox from Omni. Take it. I don't want it. I keep saying Omni. It's Oni. Jade King Lounge. Let's let's go there. First, first and foremost. Violet Diaz. We now know her name. That's big. Um... Novak house. I'm not going there. I, I don't care about this. I don't care about this. 
cool. Cool. I'm glad this all worked out. I'm glad this all worked out. Can we talk a little more just to see if there's any more information? Um, anything unusual? Really? Other than nothing's unusual? What about spare change? I had... Sure, anything to... <laughs> She's a nice person! She's a nice person! And that's all I needed to know. And that's all I needed to know. Okay? You are free to go. I had to, I had to test you. I had to test you by throwing a chair at your head in your own home. But now that I know you could still give me money after that, that shows you're a nice person. I'm going to leave the light on, though, if you don't mind. <laughs> That's non-negotiable. That's... <laughs> Yara, we're going to have such a problem if you keep turning this off. Hey, man. Oh, beef and broccoli? Thanks. Damn, let's taste you. Eat right into the mic? Yeah. Wait, who is this? Who is this? I have the guest pass. Wait, is someone else living here? Oh no, it's Kiara. Oh, yeah. I thought she... <laughs> I thought she went to bed. Hey, can we keep these lights on? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just... Man, uh, it's so fucking dark in here. And you seem to really make a fucking stink. Okay. Okay. Really? You have guests over, right? And I can't see shit. I just can't see shit. Dude, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fuck it. Um, please stop cursing. My Asian parents are watching. Thank you for choosing Envoy Express for all your intercontinental travel needs. Um, ticket number. Oh, you have a ticket number. That's interesting. You were going for a trip? You were going for a trip? Why would you need to flee? Why would you need to flee? So interesting. I feel like she's not guilty. I gotta be honest with you. So I should probably just grab a city directory. Look up Violet Diaz. It'll be under D. Violet Diaz. Locate to her house. And let's get to the bottom of this. I could also go to a sink clinic. Uh, and upgrade my sink disc. Where is her mailbox? Damn, I really finessed that, huh? That couldn't have gone better. That's 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 goat shit. That's good detective work. What what's your number again? You're you're 402. 402. Pretty sure she's being assassinated as we speak. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I got I am sure I have plenty of time to solve this murder before she gets assassinated. Oh, unless unless it's an assassin. You're not going to the fourth floor, are you? You're not going to the fourth floor, are you? There was a sniper laser in her window? Are you sure that wasn't the... Uh, her security system? Where are you going? What do you, what do you know about Violet Diaz?
<laughs> outplayed. <laughs> I will say outplayed when I've been outplayed. No getting around it. No getting around it. Locked and loaded. All right. All right. Check in on Kiara. Okay, I will. Well, let me go to the mailbox first. Increase maximum health by 20% or inventory capacity by one. I need that. I need that bad, dude. Drop the packing tape. Yeet. Grab this. Um, and let's go to where I can go to a sink clinic. Where's the nearest sink clinic? Oh, here's the Jay King. Locked, huh? What was the Jade King again? Jade King. The Jade King. Jade King Lounge. And why was that important? Summary. Uh, hamburger sold from Jade King Lounge. Yeah, fries. This is where he bought food his last night. Perhaps there's something to be said. I'd like to go to a sink clinic first, though, honestly. Is this a sink clinic? No. I'd like to sink up, dude. Get oh, nice! And that's how exploration is done. I think I fell to the fucking floor. <laughs> okay, Loki! I think I, I think I fell through the floor! Well, that's unfortunate, I must say. That's unfortunate. Okay, everyone relax. Everyone relax. Was there something good in there? I am trespassing, not really of my own accord, only that the laws of gravity were broken. Why am I in the fucking basement? I just wanted to go to the sink clinic. Power room, a plunger. I could kill someone with that. All right, fucking, get me out of here. Get me out of here, get me out of here. We were on a mission. We're on a mission to sink. Dude, I feel like I'm in an entirely different world. How, where's my exit? <laughs> Fuck. Um, okay, right here. Sink clinic. Let's not fall through the floor. Use this. Okay, get in the bed. Nice. Um, inventory. Upgrade. Install. I can't change anything. What's this? Yeah. Install. Install. Nice, dude. Now I can carry a, a hammer and a knife and things I actually need. Do I have any more? No. Oh yeah, upgrade. Yeah, easy. Okay. Nice. Nothing. Okay, get out. Big. Hello. Hello, Governor. What's your name? You're not gonna tell me, huh? That's fine. Okay, so, next step. We can go back to the Jade King. That might have been a decent lead. However, I really think the best lead is to go to Violet's apartment. I think we should do that now. I, nothing can be more important than that. Violet's apartment. Close this. Close this. We know where she lives. How can that be... Yeah, right here. Let's go. Plus two inventory? Oh, that's not a problem.
Okay, first and foremost, she lives at 1202. 1202 could be kind of fucking sick to pop up in her mailbox. They're not labeled. Wow. Okay. Oh, yes, they are. 1202. 1202. 1202. 1202. Come on. 12 Unlock this bad B. Maybe it'll be like an assassin weapon or something. Or some kind of clue as to how she was hired. Maybe a key to her own apartment that she keeps in her mailbox for emergencies. <laughs> I'm never locking a mailbox again unless I'm certain there's something in it. Give me a cola. Give me one cola, please. Alright. 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 We're hyped up. 12.02. So that means 12th floor. Let's... Drink a cola. Stop it. Drink a cola. Stop it. <laughs> drink a cola. Fine. Just finish it. Just fucking finish it. Dr. Carr, baby. that the biggest company is a soda company? I guess that's interesting. They didn't say they're the biggest. They said that they won the election. They're the most popular. They ran... Oh my god, look at all this fucking delicious shit you can get. Don't want that, that's for sure. So... Dude, a vending machine hot dog? That sounds disgusting. Oh, I knocked. Wait, I knocked on both doors. <laughs> Ma'am, please. Put some clothes on. <laughs> Can I come in and look like a roll around? <laughs> the Riz! The Riz, dude! The Riz! A stranger knocks on your door, you answering your underwear, ask if I can take a look around? Holy Riz! I'm Bailey Tandy. Do you know this person? I didn't even pick anybody yet. Fingerprints? You're not gonna give me your fingerprints, really. I can come in, but I... You got any spare change? Get out of here. <laughs> you can't revoke my guest pass, though. All right. You can't revoke my guest pass. All right, Bailey, I'm gonna need you to put on some clothes. Um... This is 1201 stubs. Birth control pills? Okay. Uh, paper clip. Mm. Bailey, I'm not. <laughs> Bailey, get up, okay? Oh, you didn't see that, did you? Take the ring. <laughs> You're married? Bailey, this is unbecoming of a married woman. Oh, that's Bailey. Wait, who are you? <laughs> okay. Wait. You're unknown citizen. Bailey did put clothes on. Oh my god. Okay. Some kind of like lesbian thruple? I see what happens here. This is lesbian sex death, okay? They've been in a sexless marriage, and that's why she's just opening the door to anybody at this point. Passcode the year you were born. Business card, Bailey Tandy. Goods compounds. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The year.
year you were born. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a question. Why does a lesbian couple need so many birth control pills? <laughs> That's my question. Let's get to the bottom of this. Hmm? Birth year. Birth year. How would I ever find your birth year? How would I ever find your birth year? Your passcode is Bailey's year of birth. Gotta change this soon. Hmm. How would I find Bailey's birth year if I were interested? Just have to close this door. Strangers just running around. I could. Oh, maybe the calendar? No. Nope. Just check her Facebook. Everyone's got a lot of security in this fucking. Oh, wait, what about right here? Don't mind if I do. Employment agreement. Uh, Daffodil Ward. Da 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 da. Nothing. I know a lot about. You know what? I'm gonna leave these. Oh, this couple be. I'm gonna be honest. This couple hasn't done anything to me. And I. Bailey, can I ask you your birthday? Can I ask you your birthday? Can I ask you your birthday? That's all I want to... That's all I want to ask. But you're not going to help me, are you? Nora, work ID, doesn't say anything. Nora's purse, don't mind if I do. Um... Excuse me? Excuse me! Bailey, why do you have a Lazarus 5 silenced? On your fucking counter! Oh, this is going to have to be linked. You guys didn't see anything. You guys didn't see anything. And if you did, well, I'm the one holding the Lazarus 5 silence, aren't I? Aren't I, Bailey? Jim Stetter. Well, now I feel much more ready for any confrontations, I'll say that. A chessboard. Hmm, deal with it. Okay, well, I'm glad I came here. Uh, don't know if I can trust you anymore. Kind of want to check your safe. But to do that, I need your birthday. And to do that, I may have to... perform... an un... <laughs> sanctioned act. <laughs> just really wish someone would tell me you talking about an old design detective? No. No, 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 no. I got her ID, but it doesn't tell me. It doesn't tell me anything about her. Uh, including her date of birth. If I could just get her wallet. Oh. Nope, that's Nora's. Bailey's purse! Bailey's purse! She's a donor born in 1950! Yes! Okay, mission accomplished. You guys go about your business. I'll just be a little busy. 1950. Safe's open. Another upgrade vial. That's Pog. Hello. <laughs> I don't know how that got open. Let's close let's close it. <laughs> Weird, you must have left your safe open. I didn't touch anything in it. Uh, and we'll check the computer real quick just so you guys aren't assassins. You were holding a pistol for some fucking reason. Oh, hello. You wouldn't mind if I sit down at the computer, would you? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I see. I see how this is gonna be. I turn the light on, one of you comes back. Right? Yeah, I see. I see. No, I get it. I get it. You guys are very focused in your mission. Well you head on a you head on a bed. Um I just really need to get on this computer. Nineteen fifty. I'm in. Hacker man's. Mail. What do we got? What do we got? Ideas? Hey, receiver dot rel noun. Where do you want to go for our anniversary? I thought the vegan place downtown, but I heard it closed because of centipedes. Lunch date? Hi, beautiful. Thank you for being able to skip out and meet me at lunch. I miss you like eggs miss ketchup. <laughs> you have a match. Um... Attention all employees. I don't want to see a repeat of last year's debacle. Attendance at the candor party is mandatory. All right. This is all relatively useless, I will say. I can't imagine it's much different for the other people. Bailey, you're off the hook. Calendar, January, it's, you're off the hook. Oh, no, answer the door. No, just, I'm out of here, okay? 1202. 1202. <laughs> Violet. Okay, now we're in Violet's place. Well, that's not Violet. Evening, what's your name? I'm not telling you. There's Violet. I'll give you money for your name. My name's Shen Ren. Okay. Do you know this person? As if I'd tell you. Okay. Hey Shen. Can I give you your can I get your fingerprints? Not giving you nothing. What if I give you a little bit of money? Can't say I have. Okay. Nothing to do with you. Shen Ren, you're not very helpful. Um, can I come in? Can I come in? I don't want you snooping around my things. <laughs> Understandable. I'll make it worth your while. No, sorry. Shit. Shit. Okay. Um, no, go about your day. No, that's fine. Um, gotta be honest with you, Shen. You're making this kind of tough on me. Did I do that? Okay. Uh, Shen. Are you calling somebody? Don't call somebody. I didn't. There's... Why doesn't it fucking shoot? Why am I holding it like a fucking idiot? Why am I holding it like this? Oh, what the hell? Not have ammo or something? Let me get his fingerprints. Maybe he's the guy. Shen Ren. Are you? Well, someone came outside. Who was that? Wait, where are you going? You fell? Or are you running? Wait, are you Violet? Violet! 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 Mind your own business. <laughs> Who are you? I'll give you money for your name. I'm not telling you. Are you Violet? Violet, we gotta talk. Uh, okay, this is <laughs> this is getting complicated. Uh, <laughs> this is getting complicated. Do you know Shen Ren? Okay, my God. Uh, all right, you you can't leave. No, 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 no. Need to get this done before she gets further downstairs. Okay. Okay. Everyone relax. <laughs> Everyone relax. Everyone relax. Let's get that fingerprint, Violet. Does that match? Oh, I know. Someone help. Someone help. I I'm, I'm trying to help her out. I really am. I'm really trying to help her out. Can I just get a quick search? That's Violet. Yes, sir. Violet Diaz, born 1947, an Oregon donor. Carrying a Lazarus 5. 
Why would you carry that if you weren't guilty? Fucking shit! No, 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 no! Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> stop, stop throwing the gun! Stop throwing it like a fucking... Just fucking... Everybody calm down! Thanks for the key. Violet Diaz. Seems I've got you dead to rights. Okay. This has gotten a little bit out of hand. We're looking at 12... <laughs> 1202. Oh, shit! No, I don't want to take fingerprints! Dude, fucking shit. <laughs> Fuck! I'm not paying a goddamn medical fee. Clutch, 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 clutch factor. <laughs> oh, they're coming. They're still coming. They're still coming. They're still coming. Ah, shit. Peace? No, you want a piece, do you? Come to my yard. See me in the fucking yard. I'm good, dude. I'm off the grid. I'm off the fucking grid. They can't find my ass. All right. <laughs> And that's how you get out of a hospital without paying, folks. Oh, Jesus. So my only thing I'm worried about... This is a light issue. I lost all my items. I lost all my money. I feel like I murdered the one suspect I had in her home. Thereby <laughs> removing my ability to solve the case. I mean, I assume it's Violet Diaz. But, uh... I guess I should go back and... Really lock that in. Um... Seems like my best option. I can't believe I got a gun and they don't let me shoot it. That's... That's ridiculous. That's Looney Tunes. I got the fingerprint, though. Is the fingerprint the same one that was in her apartment? That's the question. What type is it? She's type C? How do you see that? Oh, auto travel. This building has entered That's a security large. protocol. Starch Cola thanks you for your cooperation. Okay. Auto travel! Auto travel! It's working! It's working! Just sort of running up the old steps. Okay. Okay. How do I how do I match sure she's the right type C, I see, type C. 
Okay. So she was the one there. I'm sorry. What? Auto travel is running me into the wall. Is this closed? Everyone relax. The, the 12th floor is just closed? What do you, Shen Ren, what do you mean someone do something? When did you become a fucking puss, dude? Thank God. Okay, let's get to the bottom of this. See if we can't link Violet Diaz, a woman that I murdered, to the case. Let's see. Violet Diaz. Violet Diaz. Work Rada. She works as a... Oh, Shen Ren works here. Interesting. I'll need a wrench for any... Things go south. <laughs> and a baseball. Get some more lights on, please. Can't imagine Shenron's gonna show up. A heat pack. Nice. This is all a calligraphy set. Wow. Okay. What am I learning here? Hmm. What's this? A fucking... Okay. Alarm is currently active. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Slightly problematic. But it shouldn't stop us from getting the job done. So many cameras and turrets in every room. I must say, it's a bit off-putting. Inspect. From the desk of Lorry Driver MD for Shen Ren. 24 beta blockers for treatment of high blood pressure. That doesn't... This is Shen Ren's apartment. <laughs> Was she just living here? Or what, what's the deal? Business card. Shen Ren works in City Hall? How high up does this fucking go? I don't need two wrenches, by the way. I don't need... I don't need beta blockers. <laughs> to be honest, I don't need them. No, I don't need them. I don't need them. I don't need to take a bunch of beta blockers. <laughs> I just want a bandage in my inventory. Thank you. All right. A letter. Please, God. Overdue payment to Violet Diaz. Fine for misdemeanors. Assault by pointing. Possession of a deadly weapon. Disturbing the peace. Okay. Okay. Finally, some information. What about this note? Remember your passcode this time, 6096. Shred this ASAP. Okay. People are just leaving their fucking passcode out. 6096. Now that, okay. That should get us somewhere. Go back in the office. We go to this. 6096. 6096. Gonna fucking lose my mind. Oh, this is Shen Ren's, dude. I assume. Unless I fucking misread it, like... If I'm actually... Goofy with it. It said VD, though. Let's see. No. 6096. Yeah, that's the fucking code. Okay. Maybe I need to kill Shin Ren. No. Kiara? Wait a minute! She's got Kiara's fucking name! Which means that was her next target! Which means she is the assassin! Confirmed! Confucking confirmed, dude! Why would she have Kiara's name? And why wouldn't she know that I already killed Kiara because of the light thing? Mm. 
chicken, pork, apple. An apple would be good. So interesting how you don't have any knives in here. That's the most interesting thing of all. Why not carry a single knife? Fire extinguisher. What's this? Scissors! Yeah. I'm thinking I'm back. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm back, dude. Oh, a scissors is probably better than a knife. A knife's a little bit of a... Shh. No. Okay. I feel as if I have found the killer. I feel as if I've solved the case. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> uh... Right? I mean, this is it. It's violet all day. All, oh, piss, 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 piss. <laughs> the only thing is I can't open this safe. That's it. That's the one problem is this fucking safe. It's the one problem, dude. Uh... I don't know. I guess I gotta find and kill Shen Ren. Letter. Praise uncle. He will lead us to Eden. Blood is sweet when it is shed with reason. Uncle Eden Reason. That's some kind of clue. Praise uncle. He will... Wait, how deep does this go, dude? What if she was an assassin that was hired to kill Kiara to cover up after the fact that someone else killed fucking... Oni Jansen. Shen Ren. Take the money. Take the key. Oh, stop shooting me. I will say I'm rich AF. I live that different life. Oh, a gun. A Lazarus 5. I'm bleeding? I'm fucking bleeding. T to get rid of the baseball. All right. Okay. Can I shoot this now? Dude, you actually cannot shoot the gun. That's bananas. Bro, of course you're bleeding. You got shot. All right, we got fucking experts over here now. Everyone's a doctor. Open the door, Shen. Okay, I need to turn that alarm off somehow. <laughs> Is it here? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Can we just get this fucking turned off, please? Open the door. No, no, no. Security door breaker. Off. Yeah, thanks. And then, I'm sorry, bro, but... <laughs> I'm sorry. You've taken up too much of my fucking time. You don't got nothing on you? What's your passcode, Shen? I want to blame it on Shen Ren, dude. Okay, I, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I have the murder weapon, right? I have the murder weapon. Let's solve this puzzle right fucking now. Right? I mean, it's telling me some shit, but... I, I have enough clues to tie Violet Diaz to the case. I have her fingerprints. I have the gun. The murder weapon. Now I... Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> the level of security in this fucking building is too damn high. I'm, I'm completely flabbergasted. All right. We're going to solve this puzzle right now. Right here, right fucking now. Or my name is Detective fucking John Lazarus. 
What's my name again? Lawrence Fishburne? Lawrence Freeburn? I'm here. I'm out. Solve the case. What is the full name of the killer? Vi Violet Diaz. Confirm. Can I just make sure that's right? Yeah, Violet Diaz. I can't arrest the killer because I've killed the killer. Even better. Do you have evidence? Yes. Um, fingerprint. Fingerprint. Violet Diaz. Fingerprint. Yep. Where does the killer live? So easy. Uh, 1202 Stubbs. 1202 Stubbs Deluxe. Murder weapon? Yes. Wait, I'm sorry. The murder weapon is not appearing. Can I put this in my... Oh, this is... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> How can I... <laughs> Wait a minute, is this not possibly a murder weapon? Because if so, I'm screwed. Inspect. Yeah, 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 okay. Lazarus 5. Yep. Select it. Yep. Uh, plot route to hand in. Okay. Should I... Okay. I might have solved a goddamn murder today, chat. Here we go. Go to the case tray. Hand it in. Wait for results. Please, 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 please. If I haven't caught the killer, then all of my murders is for nothing. Let's go! World's greatest detective. Consider it solved. Holy shit, we got the job done. When it came right down to it, we cracked another case. We made some money, <laughs> and we leveled up. Social credits up. Thank you, Xi Jinping. This is big. Wow. I know that I am a rogue cop who plays by his own rules, but it's all worth it, much like Dr. House, if I get the job done. And that's what I did. First mission down. I would definitely play this game again. Uh, save game. Lock it in. Lawrence Freeman, Charlotte Heights. You're better than many IRL cops. <laughs> I mean, at least I solved the case in between killing people unrelated. Uh, that game's hype. Lawrence does it again, bro. Yeah, that game's fun as shit. Um, now, I'm thinking... That that was very chaotic. What was chaotic about it, Kitty? What about my gameplay did you find chaotic and not meticulous, calculated, and progressing? Dailies? I was thinking um, John Oliver and then House. Wait. Wait. I'm still waiting. <laughs> Wait. What if I played that game with Lincoln and a Spectacore and we raced it? We all get auto generated or we all generate a new seed and first one to solve the mystery? <laughs> that could be really funny. Um, that could be really funny. And every time you lose, you have to put on a shirt <laughs> or do a shot. Yeah, we'd all play the same seed. And the first one to solve the mystery. A battle of our generation's greatest minds. Exactly. Exactly. Shadows of Doubt Horse. That could be really fucking fun. Uh, all right, I'll talk to them. I'll see if they're down. 
That could be a really fun idea. Thank you, Mason, for the 36 months. Uh, Echo off. Thank you for the six months. What is horse about that? You should type nay in the chat right now or I'm going to ban you. <laughs> That'll be the horse. Okay? <laughs> That'll be the fucking horse, bro. I spent the course in. Uh, nay. <laughs> nay like a horse, bro. All right. Uh, new John Oliver on executions. Let's watch that. Doo -doo -doo. All right. That was a good one. That was a good app. Uh, Mr. Beast does the Hunger Games with death. Yeah, I mean, he would. That's the thing. It's like, I think he would. Uh, what time is it? Might be house time, bro. Oh, no, it's 1020. We can't do house. Shit. Look at A.O. Zora's message to Deep Cut. Wait, A.O. Zora is the one who did the Teen Titans cover but misspelled my name? You did this? Shit, I gotta tell you, I literally, you, you know how music can trigger uh, emotions or, or memories? I literally felt like I was playing Hitman. I, I just got a weird, like, I'm in fucking Paris. I got, <laughs> like, my, my neurons were firing up to, like, shoot a camera. That's, that was, I could instantly, wow. Because I played this so often when I was grinding. Wow, that's interesting. Sorry, what was that? Hey, Zora, what was that? Yeah, the subtitles right there. It's not that hard. <laughs> At Rock? At Rock? That's not my name. <laughs> He said, he said Atreon. No, there's no. <laughs> uh, you know what? It doesn't flow, though. A-T-R-O-C. Yeah, yeah. I see why you had to do it. I see why you had to do it. The I is implied. Atreon. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, thank you for the raid. Thank you for the excellent song. I listened to that. So many times uh, back in the day when I was grinding Hitman. That's that's crazy. Uh, are you going to watch the T1 game? Maybe. Is it is it soon? Wait, is it right now? Over the vein. HLE versus T1. It starts in 11 minutes. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Interesting, interesting. How curious, how curious. Um, my first HROC stream was the Hitman Grind stream. I turned it on and you were stuck in Paris for an hour. I don't know why I came back. Bro, those streams were brutal. Those Hitman streams were brutal. Uh, I'm, su I'm surprised I did them live at first. Eventually, I had to start streaming... Grind. I mean, I started. I already did doing grind off stream because the as the records got lower, the amount of grind got higher, and I re <laughs> I realized that like I would literally nobody would want to watch 
the amount of times you do Paris. You have to do Paris, uh, fucking Sapienza, and Marrakesh over and over and over. You literally do it 98% of the time. Uh, it's brutal. It's brutal. There's a whole generation of players that can't watch anymore Hitman. Yeah, I just I don't I don't think I, it's just tough to play Hitman consistently. I do think if I played Hitman story mode just for fun, one time for the one, I think it could be fun. I think we should do that and have fun. But I don't think I could grind it. I just I just think people would get so I mean, even when I did freelancer, people were losing it. Um do, 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 bum, bum, bum. Do what Clint does and reset your PB. What is that? Clint, I'm sorry. When you say do what Clint does and you don't follow that by saying don't stream for months, <laughs> that's what Clint does. If I want to be honest about it, if I want to follow the Clint Steven strategy, I will just not click the go live button. Freelancer Grind was one of my favorite streams. That's shocking to me. But I I, I I liked Freelancer Grind for a bit. The problem is, it, I mean, it really is just um, a lot of resetting for RNG. Um, I do think, yeah, I, I think what I have to remember, though, is that almost every Grind stream started out shitty, but then it kind of becomes its own meme. You know, like even Elden Ring and even they all, they have, you have to get over the hump. Sometimes I'm afraid to do the hump. <laughs> I'm not talking to Ari. Uh, you have to, you kind of have to just go in and then mauled and have it be shitty until it becomes funny that I'm not quitting. Uh, that is, that is something I need to remember. Um, it's a meta. Anyway, I think it'll happen with, like, you know, new Elden Ring. Whenever the Elden Ring DLC or, like, if any other great fucking games come out that I can really... I mean, Hades 2. I cannot fucking wait to grind Hades 2. I only play Hades 2 for 72 hours. I cannot wait. I mean, if Slay the Spire 2 comes out, I'm going to grind the shit out of that. There's a lot of games that are coming up that I think I can really get into. But lately, I just haven't seen anything that I really... Because now I'm, I'm so much more aware than I ever was before of the trade-offs. <laughs> uh, now I'm so much more aware of how much I enjoy, like, having a pretty good sleep schedule. Of, <laughs> you know, having these habits I do every day. Of, and I just know that I'll lose them. I just know that I'll fuck it up and have days, weeks, months of problems. So I, like, I just have to be more careful about how I attack the time. Um, have you played Blotro yet? Yeah. Bellatro's a great example. Bellatro, I got into, I dumped 40 hours in two days. Uh, it, <laughs> I just ate, slept, and breathed Bellatro. I just... And then I... Then I... Uh, then I uninstalled it. <laughs> then I reinstalled it later, just to confirm uh, that I was right to uninstall it. So I probably put in 60 hours total. Maybe something like that. Um, have you seen the Frostpunk 2 trailer? Nah. Nah, bro. Frostpunk 2? Frostpunk 2? Frostpunk 2? Oh, what is this game? Mm. Wait, is Frostpunk the game I'm thinking of? Frostpunk 2. Oh, I don't want to play this. I tried Frostpunk 1, bro. It's a good game. It's not it's not a very good stream game. I mean, it's actually I think this game is like it's good. I am saying it's good. I I played it. I enjoyed it decently, but I found like the actual building and managing of your people and your base to be kind of boring, kind of whack, and then the fun part was every like 15 minutes it would give you a prompt with like a really tough moral choice. <laughs> it would give you like you know, there's a starving kid in this orphanage, but we could use his blood to <laughs> power the machine or something. You know, it would give you some fucking shit um, that you could, like, make a choice on that would often, like, help you in one way and hurt you really bad down the road. And those were fun and interesting. Uh, I didn't love the rest. The rest of the game was kind of snoozer to me, but... 
Um, Big A, I uploaded a short and it's got 300% retention. Why no viral yet? Link me it. We'll we'll judge it right now. Brayden, let's watch your short. Good night, Aozora. Thanks for the song. Um, the Long Dark wasn't a great stream game either, but I actually have no idea if Long Dark is a good stream game or not. I only played it when I had fucking 85 viewers. <laughs> I, I actually have no idea. It could be a good stream game. It's kind of fun. Getting hunted by the wolf is fun. I think the Long Dark is a pretty fun game in general. Um, though it has a lot of slow moments. I guess, actually, unironically, I might not even be skilled enough of a streamer to pull it off. I think Northern Lion Long Dark streams would go dumb hard. It is actually the perfect banter game. Because you have a lot of slow time to banter while you're scavenging and then it would fucking ramp the fuck up when you get wolves bears death um unironically i would like to see that i'd like to see the goat go at it um and you can't uh, i do think type a would ruin it god i hate fucking i hate type a chatters bro <laughs> unironically bro they fucking mauled me dude why they gotta come in and try to fucking uh What's type A chatters? Just the type of people that can't help themselves, you know? Like Uh what's an like like if you're playing chess and you move your knight and they go, uh actually the best move would be bishop. <laughs> the bishop to b4. Uh actually I checked it with an engine. The best room would be uh, people who just don't get the vibe, bro. Do you understand? People that that need to be... They need to use the stream as a way to validate themselves to other chatters. I get to someone. To, they're speaking to the void, but... Um, it's not just... It's not just... Yeah, when I'm saying I hate type A, I'm talking about the city in Taiwan. <laughs> I'm very pro Xi Jinping on this one. I'm trying to get my visa for China, dude. I'm talking about Taipei, dude. Uh... Okay. Oh, what was I? Oh, yeah. We're talking about Frostpunk. And then there was another game called End Zone 2. What is this? This is all that matters. The pioneers of our time. Doesn't this kind of look like uh Has there really been much innovation in the city builder space? Maybe I, I I'm not asking honestly. Is there any like I feel like city builders have so much room to run and I don't see a lot of, I have heard about against the storm. Isn't that like a roguelike city builder or something? Why is there not like a fantasy city builder? Unless against the storm is also that <laughs> like, why can't I, why can't I have a city builder set in fucking, um, it is. Okay. Well then there you go. Uh, there's the beaver one clash of clans the renaissance um or a sci-fi one like a sci-fi city builder set in the future age of empires not a city builder age of empires is like rts i mean like you know like literally planning your city building upgrade the buildings like building a starcraft 2 is an rts uh, Beaver One Timberborn is pretty good. Those could be good. Those could be cool. Um, Tropico. I like Tropico. Tropico fucks. Tropico is a great example, actually. Tropico is a great example because they just took a unique setting and really ran with the theme. You know, I, I, I like, I like really rich theme. If you're gonna go for a game like that. Um, 
I have a cool game for you. Check my chat history. Let me see. What's your cool game, Nacy? Uh, what's the game you sent? This is the game. Cool art. So you're just, we're all admitting there's no Silk Song. We're all admitting Silk Song's not coming and we just gotta fill the gap. <laughs> it does look good, it does look good. Oh, I like the movement. Yes, it's cool. When does this come out? Let's see. Does it say? Oh, here we go. Uh oh, relatively soon. About a month. A little over a month. Yeah, for sure. Remind me. Nine souls. Looks fun. This could be really fun. Uh truck dival truck driver medieval battle game? Yeah. Mm. Amogus in title. Oh my god, you're right. There's an Amogus in the title. That's how you know it's good. Returnal is a roguelike set in space where you try to figure out the mystery of the planet you're on and why you can't die. Returnal. What's the reviews like? Returnal Metacritic. What are we looking at? Ooh, damn. Generally quite positive. Uh, playing Returnal, it feels like next gen has truly begun. Oh, is this PS5? I need a PS5. I mean, I have a PS5, but I have to hook it up. Then I'll say I probably won't play it. <laughs> the mere fact that I have to go to my living room, pick up the PS5, bring it back here, set it up, get the fucking capture working, means that I probably won't play it. It's on Windows? Now we're back on the same board! Returnal is unambiguously and thoroughly an outstanding game. Interesting. Interesting. All right, well, that sounds fucking sick. Yeah, maybe I'll check it out. I guess I'm, I'm trying to game more. Um, trying to game more. I'm trying to mix it up. Kingmakers. What's this game? Kingmakers. Kingmakers. We don't know where he. Came oh, this is from. this game. This is the. This is the fucking truck and yeah, hundred percent. This is like this is a good look at stream game. Everyone's gonna play this, to be honest. This is gonna be. I, I'm pretty sure Jinxie and Queso will play this for fucking three hundred thousand people each. Uh, it's gonna be big. Um. Slay the Spire 2. I will absolutely play that with Ari. I think Ari and I will do a, a co-op Slay the Spire stream. Uh, actually, speaking of Ari, I'm just reminded that I started an hour early, but I am still ending near 11, which I was supposed to not do, so I could have a little more time and watch a show with Ari. So I'm actually going to end. Thank you for watching today. I appreciate the subs. Uh, appreciate the time. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow for Get Smarter Saturday. Should be a fucking blast. Bring some intelligent videos. I kind of want to do history stuff. I watched a lot of business videos this week. I kind of want to watch some history stuff. So if you have any good history shit, some battle shit, that'd be fun. Sevens, thank you for watching. Have a great fucking night.
Uh, emote has to get changed. Make a note to myself. And I do have plans tomorrow. I think I'll be back in time, though, for a late night, uh, for like a 8 o'clock. Raid Zane? Okay, I'll raid Zane. Boo -doo -boo 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 -doo. Let's raid Zane. Let's raid Zane. Zane Nogmi. Nog HMI. <laughs> yeah, okay. He's playing Rocket League? Give him some love. Thanks for watching. Mm. Emote is not racially motivated. How is it racially motivated to have a person of a different race? <laughs> I, again, I get, I get very bothered by <laughs> whenever people see a non-white thing and go, whoa, is this racist? It's not racist. It's not... He's saying it isn't? Yeah, but he's saying it in the chatter way. Uh, all right, have a good night.